PKA 579 with our friend Josh and a new friend, Wendigoon or Isaiah. Thank you guys so much. For Can I stop? I think your mic's too blown out. Fuck. Is it really? It's just because you got it so close to your mouth. Okay. End the recording and I'll fix pull, it. Pull it away. <laughs> let, let, let's, let's find the range. I think it's it like a fist on top of the mic and, and then this motion. If you go back and forth, <laughs> varying speeds. This now we're getting somewhere. Sounds clear. Is this okay? Faster. I think you're not. I think you're not is close enough. Okay? Hold your mouth yeah. open and just keep. keep going. It was just like when you started. You were like, "Welcome to PKA." It was like, it was like, suddenly, like, it was like booming and like blown out. Okay, well, fuck me. Fucking forty seconds in, I already ruined it. It's, 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 <laughs> it's sounds any better now? When we're having a regular conversation like this, it's fine. But when you were like, I got, got a little bit angry. Welcome to PKA. It was like booming and blown out. <laughs> so let's try that. Okay, right. a little I'll, too. I'll keep my pants on. I'll calm down. Sorry about that. Every PKA 579. Thank you so much to Josh. And oh, as, as oh are we recording again? Oh, okay. No, we're not restarting. We're going. Oh. No, we're, we're already a quarter of a percent way through the show. We're not going to lose this. This is gold. A quarter People, of a percent. Love this. It's comedy. What he gets? What he gets kidnapped for one week and the wheels fall off the fucking bus? <laughs> yeah. What he? Uh, what he sent us a, a text in our WhatsApp like two days ago and he was showing where he was in mexico at this restaurant and literally that he sent us a picture of the menu it was like crickets fried crickets dipped in guacamole there was ant larva that you and and uh, there were two different ant dishes and he ordered the ants they no were way. out of ants <laughs> <laughs> move a garbage can something you, there's no way to run out of how ants. are you out <laughs> of ants go outside it's, you ran out of ants in a Mexican kitchen in the middle of nowhere? I doubt it. Bro, did he, like, choose to go to Mexico, or did he wind up in Mexico? He, he <laughs> and, okay, wanted, all right. He wants <laughs> to be sense. there. He's he's riding around. He's I, I All mean, of the ants. letters that he's written us shakily have confirmed he <laughs> wants to be there. <laughs> he's being treated well. Which he's assuring us he's not point. being molested or anything, but he's also somehow lost his grasp of English. Uh huh. He's very specific. <laughs> and he's, he's very Looks specific like someone about who's it. not even a native speaker is writing this. It's kind of hello, cool, friend. His handwriting <laughs> always was bad. He just writes you a letter. Buenos dias, amigos. <laughs> Buenos dias. He's not even there. I sure, try my friends, I am alive. <laughs> he's on a pretty interesting adventure. I look forward to the story. Yeah, he, um, he always has good stories, and I'm I'm proud of him for trying the bug dishes, like trying the crickets. Oh yeah, I yeah, was I very I shocked been... that he tried. No, I'd have to try it too. It looked like the 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 ant larvae. Uh, I think the description was like honeyed ant larvae, and it just reminded me of reading uh, Game of Thrones. And there's a part where they're they're eating honeyed door dormouse, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and it just reminded me that Mexico is a third world country, and they shouldn't be treated like <laughs> oh, people. <yeah>. They should. <laughs> hold on, hold they on. Is bugs. this like? <laughs> is it like a bowl of ant larvae, like rice? That's exactly what it is. It's a big bowl of okay, magic. All right, all right. So it's no, to be I'm sure. like a spoon? I, I would have to eat it, too, if I were there. But um, I'd try it if you would. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, didn't send a, he didn't send a photo of the ants. He sent a photo of the grasshopper because they were out of ants. They were out. You so know, as is off the case. And he <laughs> just he, it was basically a, a tortilla with like five crickets in there. And then just an amount of guacamole that was clearly there to cover up the taste of cricket. No one Designed puts that much mass. guacamole on a pork yeah. taco. Oh, man. Like it I would have was... probably just picked out a cricket and tried it. So so did he like the cricket? Did you get any feedback yet? Or he said it wasn't jury bad. out? I don't think he'll try again. Uh, no, but... no, no, see, that's the kidnappers talking. <laughs> what not saying? <laughs> I enjoyed he loved it. it. <laughs> he thinks it's muy bueno. <laughs> uh... It's Mexico a wonderful place, but the grasshoppers are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, and apparently he's all those other Americans are wrong. All right, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Right before I came on here, my mom FaceTimed me and I was like, yo, I'm about to, you know, hop in and do this, this PK thing. And she, you know, the support's been amazing. I'd like to take a second to say that your community has been outrageous Good. and um, Glad to hear it. in the support. And my mom likes to surf Reddit. So after all the support, she joined the subreddit. And whenever she talked to me, she was like, you're going on PKA. <laughs> Isn't something shady going on? I think I saw something about like <laughs> Woody got kidnapped or something. I went to Mexico, and I was like, "Mom, you you've been on the internet long enough. I'm sure somebody was kidding." She was like, "I don't know. I think he's in Mexico." 
He is. something shady going on and i was like if he is i highly doubt it i get on here and everybody's just casually like yeah what he's having a good time in mexico but joking about the kidnapping and i'm like this propaganda has spread and outside the, fact the that circle it's, it's mexico is just so funny to me like it's kind of what like makes he, it sus. woody loves adrenaline <laughs> adrenaline is woody's drug and he loves it and so right, anytime like we're talking about vacations we'll talk like what do you like like dream vacations or fun places I'm like Rome. They'll go to Italy, go to France, go to Europe, you know, the Netherlands, whatever. He's mm -hmm. like, I think it would be fun to start in in uh, Somalia and go straight down all the way till uh, till South South Africa, and then just make friends as I go. And it's like, what the what? Are you high? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> That's a pipe dream if I've ever heard one, huh? <laughs> Not a good idea. Yeah, you're you're a retired millionaire. Go somewhere nice. Treat yourself. I mean, he's gone yeah, to well, nice places, though, right? Like, like he's been. I think I'm pretty sure he's been to Rome. I'm almost positive he has. Yeah, he has but, been to Europe. A couple but times. on the other hand, like, I guess he'd never gone and eaten grasshoppers in a and wherever the fuck he is. That one play, that one video <laughs> he sent, it looked like he was in a jungle, and he mentioned like, <laughs> and he mentioned like chartering uh, uh, like a motorcycle ride, which I assumed is one of those back of the motorcycle hanging on to yeah. a little guy kind yeah. of rides. Yeah, from a man who spoke almost no English. <laughs> Uh, the guy's like wearing like flattened Aquafina bottles as sandals. Yeah, like like yeah. it's just Kyle, like they were fishing it. <laughs> very Kyle, are you sure there wasn't a mention of a dollar amount or ransom or anything like that in the video? I mean, I'm sure he, it was just Woody. I'm like, not paying a dime. There was this Venmo <laughs> URL he kept sending over and over, but I just ignored that. I don't negotiate with terrorists, and I don't answer calls that say spam likely. No. So, no. <laughs> and I don't know how to More Woody. <laughs> Sorry, Woody. I mean, Sorry, Woody. We don't so negotiate good. with terrorists. We if let I them got... on the podcast, but we don't negotiate with them. If I got kidnapped and and they're like, we are calling your podcast calls to get ransom for you, I'd be like, oh, God, if you're there, please, please, hopefully they dial a nice podcast. I'm and they take mercy. Please, God. Please God, let them get Joe Rogan somehow. Somehow, I would, I, would, I would understand it because if we were reversed, I would also take the. You know, I, I'm not negotiating with Kyle's terrorists. I don't care how many fingers I get in the mail. I'm too brave for that. No. I understand, man. <laughs> don't give in, bro. Don't give in. I, yeah, that's like your like take. It's like this is a message to the the terrorist kidnappers. I don't care how many testicles, fingers, ears, teeth, eyes, penises you send me. My friend Kyle is strong, and he'll never give in. And we not will just because not he sent me his tongue on day two. <laughs> Cut off what you me must. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Kyle's hiding at his house writing fake letters. Like, man, why isn't this working? <laughs> man, I can't believe pay. Taylor won't pay $70 to save me. $70 American, <laughs> 70 American dollars. Yeah. The note's all written in blood. <laughs> that would be, it's like you know 10 bucks. <laughs> I, Taylor I would, refuses. I would negotiate with terrorists if it was like $70. Definitely. <laughs> I don't know, I man. Seventy dollars. It's kind of like the principal, you know. What is the minimum? Amount. What is the lowest amount that you could demand as a kidnapper, terrorist, robber, whatever, uh, before they would stop taking you seriously? Like, if you asked for like three hundred seventy-three dollars, would someone immediately be like, "Oh, hang on"? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, we got 375. You got a couple of ones. Yeah. Well, you yeah, we'll take quarters. Yeah, all right. This right now, guys. The fuck did you call me? Like, like, would that happen? Like, would someone just peel off a couple hundreds? They or just they don't even call the cops. Or would he be like, all right, we're going to talk about it. You know, we're going to get in touch with the mayor. Like, would they still play that game? Or would they just we'll do? see. There's a truck on its way with the money in the back. Yes. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't believe birds has never eaten a bird before. Or they were just really crazy. He's like, ha ah, they planted a real one. Look at that. Man, I also yeah. shot a bird. On them, this pork hungry. tastes like turkey. Ha -ha. I, I, I also <laughs> shot a bird out of the like sky pork. and ate it. Did you? Yeah, I shot a bird out of the sky and I ate it. With the wires and everything? Shot it with a gun. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Gun shoots little, little, little balls. Uh, yeah, bird pheasant. shot. I went pheasant hunting. And it what was, uh, this was in, in Quebec. I know this guy and his family like owns like a whole like village and they they literally buy like tens of thousands of pheasants at like $20 a head and Damn. put them in bushes for months 
Yep. And then they have the nearby village come and shake the bushes. And we're holding our guns pointing at the bushes slightly Amazing. above. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's kids like shaking the bushes in there. Hopefully, and not the quite bullets, the bush. and then the then the then the birds come out, birds. and uh, and then we Hold shot on. them. We shot Just them out of the air, and then sounds, dogs ran and collected them and brought them to us. Sounds very sporting. Yeah, just like these fat, spoiled birds who aren't expecting anything. Yeah. <laughs> they've, been, they've been pampered. Yo, the they whole never life. fucking saw this shit coming. Bro. All of a sudden, their bush they never having a bush quake, and they just fucking peel out and get smoked. Bro, I was like literally like twelve. I'm like twelve feet away. It's like flying. Fast enough for me to be like. And then once I murdered my first, I was like, "Let's go, bro. Let's go." She like, oh, murdered them. Killed. There wasn't no Monster hunting involved. Killed. That wasn't hunting. That was just killing. She, she yes. a pheasant no, you're right. Twelve feet. It was. It, <laughs> it, just, wasn't bro, blow, it would just explode. It wasn't <laughs> hardly. We, we planted them there. We planted them there. Yeah, like, yeah they were clean. So did I've you like this... uh, did you like tie little rocks to its poor feet? So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> you joke? No, I've seen this done before. Like, like I didn't participate because whatever. But but but, but like, what, what you scared were... of shooting a gun? Yeah, that's what it was. It, it hurt. <laughs> uh, so they would um, they would take these. I think they're quail at, at this at this bird club. But they would um, they would put the quail in a towel and like fold the towel in half once long ways. So, and and so then they've got that. I think that they could like do this with like you're gonna whip somebody in a locker room. Right, but they okay. just keep going like fast. Woo, 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 woo. And the bird when they're done is like fuck. Oh, he's so dizzy. He, can't, he doesn't know up from down anymore. And now that he's dizzy as fuck, they go, here you go, little buddy. Sit right there. Yep. Just chill right there. And then they keep doing that. And they plant birds throughout the field. And then they, th then the guy's waiting over there with his trained $4,000 bird dog and his shotgun. And like, yeah, he's been, he's, he's been training for this. And he's like, all right, go out there and get those dizzy birds, Mark. You got that right. I am. And he goes out there and as quickly and efficiently as he can, he kills dizzy birds, and that's which is story. probably very quick and efficient. I would assume. Well, the part of it's the dog, and part of it's the hunter. Hitting the bird is like, I don't know. It. it I was gonna say it's like hitting the extra point in uh, football. Yeah, it's like that. It's like hitting the mm -hmm. extra point in football. It's like you're gonna hit it right because like if you didn't, it'd be incredibly embarrassing. Like, like this is really <laughs> just about everything that comes before this. Uh, yeah, but, but it's still super lame because it's supposed to be the sure The shot. birds are in a cage. Like we already had them. We could have we could have <laughs> snapped their little necks and eaten them. Right? These, these, these birds on, came. Uh, these birds yeah. came from elsewhere. The ones that I like. He they these were two. brought from elsewhere and then yeah. like placed in the bushes like six months before they get all comfortable. I don't think and... quail <laughs> live here. I don't think quail are indigenous to Georgia. Like like we they bring them in and like shake them up and them out there and everything. Yeah, and then we eat them after. Like like we well, yeah. eat them. Like the dog was the most impressive part of the day because yeah. they all fall into like thick brush, and then like eight dogs run out into the brush and they come back with this like bloody dead creature like as if like they're like yeah you love this eh? and you're like good yeah. boy, good boy. and I'm, there, I'm like yo all these dogs are fucked mentally bro these dogs are fucked up in the head the dog is a psychopath they they love it those like when that. you're in like retrieval dogs they are having the time of their life they're having more fun than the hunters like yeah. when don't, I'm you wish, dogs like that. don't you wish you could approach your job like a dog in a yeah. way like whatever your job is like don't you wish like you could be sleeping and someone's like yo wake up and you're like yo let's go see me <laughs> i'm ready to go and you're like you want to work today and you're like yeah man let's work today like that's my dog i could literally he could be dead asleep and i'd be like yo wake up and he'll be like what's wrong percent energy already like that is the most envious thing about dogs because like or animals as a whole like for us, like as humans, like we've got all these stresses, all these thoughts. Like if we're sitting on the couch relaxing, it may be like, oh, I should go to sleep, but I've got all these meandering thoughts and, and you know, things going on in my head. I'm going to watch a movie. Whereas like a dog, if a dog is like, is like, am I actively hungry or thirsty or do I have to poop? No, I'm sleep. going to bed. Yep. Like it doesn't matter if he just slept yeah. for nine, 10, and, 11 hours. Right and back not to just bed. that, if you like, if you ate a big fat juicy hamburger and it would tasted great and then you went and fell asleep 
and four minutes later someone woke you up with another big fat juicy hamburger you'd be like bro get the fuck out of my face don't ruin my sleep <laughs> like my dog if he has a treat and goes to bed and then i like wake him like a minute later i'm like yo you want another treat he'd be like yeah <laughs> i would love that bro i haven't had one in like eight years let's do yeah. it and like he's ready for another treat he's like the they're fuck like, took so long they're yeah. eating when they're not even, they, they eat when they're not hungry just because they know there's not opportunity um, I, i've like yeah. gone into my you know bedroom or office or something like after eating chicken wings before this happened a couple months ago actually this has happened many times and i just leave like all the chicken bones on the the coffee table there and i came back out and like when I eat chicken wings, like I, I play for keeps, you know, there were probably 15 <laughs> flats bones on there, which is like 30 of the little tiny bones, you know, right. and I come back in and my 12, no, my 17 pound dog had eaten all of them. Oh, that's no. dangerous. All man. of them. And like my, my wife was like, he's going to die. Fossey's going to die. <laughs> oh, and no. I was like, he's probably not like he's I, I think I even Maybe. said more trying to convince myself Maybe. than her. I'm like, I think I read online that it's only bad if they vomit it. They can digest it, but they can't vomit it once it's already shards or it'll tear up their little esophagus. Uh, I'm sure, still sure, Taylor, whatever. Like, even at the time <laughs> I'm I said that, it. I'm like, I'm not even buying this, mm -hmm. but <laughs> he's, he's fine. <laughs> He's totally fine. <laughs> How long ago? Months ago, he said, all right, hell. This all right. was probably five weeks ago, and he's not dead yet. Mm. Yeah, it'd be all right. Yes. Five weeks, yeah, I agree. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, it'll be okay then. I can't speak for Chimp specifically, uh, but my girlfriend is, she's currently in her final year of vet school, and over nice. the summer, she worked at a primate research facility. So she was, like, working, handling uh, the monkeys the whole time. They're like mm -hmm. the rhesus monkeys and that stuff. So they're not as big as chimps, but they have like very similar attitudes. And the two ways that you like put them in line, because that you'd walk in in the morning, they'd be screaming, shouting, like grabbing, the yeah. stuff, throwing stuff around or whatever. Huh. Um, yeah. You either brought them a treat. If anyone had a treat, they would just like uh, attention hunt everyone in line. Mm -hmm. Just do whatever you say. Or if you screamed at them, it's either incredibly positive reinforcement or negative reinforcement. Um, because it's like they were hmm. fighting or whatever, and you just screamed, like, get in the cage. They would just stop screaming be like, all right, I lost this round. I'll, I'll go get in the cage. <laughs> you just got to alpha hilarious. male them, basically, huh? That's interesting. You got to go carrot and yeah, stick. Yeah, I didn't know them. they would be that sensitive to being scolded. I, the fact that Keep in mind, they are smaller than, like, chimps. I don't know if it applies yeah, yeah, to yeah, larger least... monkeys, but yeah. with them, yeah. Well, and the, yeah. the person scolding them is the one in charge of, like, doling out the food and water. And so and they kind of have to be like, I, all right, this is the real deal. Let's be chill. real. He's also the one who wears that white coat who takes him down the hallway where the screams come from. Like, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that too. That also happens. Keep in mind, he's not talking about a place where they like play with monkeys all day. <laughs> like, uh, talking about he's talking about, about like a makeup company. Which one of these needles you think <laughs> hurts lipstick. more? Only one. Way <laughs> Give them both. Yep, exactly. <laughs> oh, I saw. Well, I saw a video. Maybe you guys know where I saw it from. I don't know, but it was like demonstrating intelligence to an animal in a way. It was a, a bull, and the farmer was like, "Oh, this bull won't fuck with me." He thinks I'm the strongest creature alive because he sits there all day trying to lift that gate and there's a bolt. Yeah. And he tries to lift it all day and he can't. And then I walk over, I unhinge it, and then I open it easily. And he looks at me like I'm a fucking god. Like he looks at me, <laughs> not exact words, but he's like, the bull looks at me like I am the strongest creature alive. He won't mess with me. That's just so it funny. It's sense. like you stupid fucking yeah. animal. It's yeah. a Don't little you latch, you, you idiot. Could kill me in two seconds. <laughs> I'm it's time to be some no. metal. I've seen kind of the opposite side of that. We we had we had one go crazy one time, like like it had gone feral, and it was just trying to tear through this fence. And my dad's on the other side of the fence, and so is the highway. If it gets in the highway, you're you're liable if that thing like runs in front of a car and kills a family. So you yeah. can't let it get there. And dad's got a gun, and he's he's trying to negotiate with this wild animal. He's like, <laughs> he's like, uh, he's like no, you can't. I don't want to shoot you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Back. And he's, like, he's like hitting it with the butt of the shotgun, like, no, don't make me. No, 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 no. Uh, he's got a fucking shooter. He shoots it in the neck and it, it falls into the ditch, like through the fence it was trying to get through, and like neck under body. And it's like, fuck. Yeah, like, like expensive, expensive. Yeah, he's yeah, hell yeah. It's a loss. He comes, he, he drives back to our house, which is very close. It's within sight of this, and he, he, he's mad about this. He's, he's, arranging like someone to process the cow so that it's not just thrown in a hole we're gonna get it like, yeah. processed so we have all the meat in the freezer and uh and he's like yeah she's 
I don't know, 900, 1100, 1200, something like that, a thousand pounds. And yet right now she's dead. I'm looking at, let me call you back. She had gotten up. <laughs> the, <laughs> no the, way. The, 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 she had only been knocked unconscious by the first shot. <laughs> That's not she, she had made it. He had made it across the first road, and she's running across another field. And now it's not just a road. She's well, yeah. Now for. she's running for her life. <laughs> it's a major highway she's headed for now. She's not making it across. Oh, the good. Road. So now he's chasing her in a truck that sells a trailer through a field, and it's just ba 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 ba. <laughs> He gets all the he passes her, gets all the way in front of her, and now he's got a deer rifle. He like pulls out the driver's side window and shoots her in the like chest as she's running at him. She's not run, she's not trying to like, oh, there's a loud trailer and truck. She's like, mm -hmm. she wants him. She's coming. Like, like, like <laughs> his ass, huh? Yeah, they can get crazy. Man. Yeah, unfortunately. But and we ate her stronger than they realize. Her. How did she taste did that delicious. Stop her, the shots in the chest? <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. I, I can remember eating that cube steak and gravy like a year and a half later and being like victory. She was crazy, but tender. And it was, it was, it was good stuff. I, I really do remember that. We ate that cow for like two years after that. We had we had beef. That's all. Awesome. I haven't gone hunting in years. Like, I don't think I, I think it's been six years since the last time I hunted. And it was deer oh, hunting, which hey, is the most important kind of hunting on Earth. Hey, we always talk about doing a trip. Um we could go uh, on a on a hunting trip next year. You should get better with your bow. Uh, I would need to. So, I need to buy a compound bow and really start practicing. Well, you like, only have a year. <laughs> I'm still I, getting yeah. better with the recurve bow. I don't know if I'm I ready did. to step over to the. I, I mean, co compound is easier than recurve, obviously. You could but learn it's two very hobbies different. in a year. You, you, you I did this. manage to get a deer <laughs> with my friends this year, so this I'm year I do have my nice. little hunter's license. So what did you, you you killed it? Mm hmm. Well, I spawned Man, we all for kill my animals out here on the rifle. <laughs> <laughs> you shot, you shot him with a rifle. My, my, but I was the spotter for my buddy who was mounted on the gun and took okay. the shot. So I Is got to share in hunting? the spoils. No, not well. It's not if you do it at a reasonable range. We were setting up a challenge for ourselves. We, uh, we have a friend who has a lot of property, and it was across two hillsides. So we, uh, how do I say this on the internet? conveniently came across one that was located on the other hillside and then mm -hmm. so we did the whole dope measurements and everything like that uh to try to nail the shot and we we got it in one shot so i was very how far very I happy with that so um i i swear i do not tell tales outside of school this is 100 percent honest i do long range shooting 753 yards yeah that's Whoa, all, that's a, that's a good like a battlefield sniper headshot six, six five six five creedmoor uh out of a ruger precision rifle so that's cool so yeah you you killed it and then you like have two miles to walk no well, it's not we, that, it's not well it, it's not that far uh and yeah. we also like there, i was on the shooter side of it so i did my work I, someone else went and carried that thing for me oh, that, okay that's a good deal <laughs> I, I just set yeah, up there's my little spotting scope i'm like yeah i'm like two mils whatever and then it's like, all right, I'm done. I'm ready for I, dinner. Where's the steak at? <laughs> one of the most fun times I had hunting, I was like, I think I was, it was the first time I went dove hunting. I was like eight and eight or nine. Dove? Dove hunting? Dove yeah. hunting. Yeah. And it was like, uh, it wasn't like normal dove hunting. Like you just go out. It was like the, the field like event thing where you like go to a field and they stock it. And like, I'm eight, nine years old. So I've like shot clays with a shotgun for a while, but that's about the extent of it. And like, if I you you couldn't miss like the dog would run up and scare a bush and it would just be like the arrows in 300 <laughs> levels of doves where like I, I genuinely wasn't <laughs> aiming. I was just swinging the, the little 20 gauge I had up there just pow, pow, you know, it was an over under. And then every Shoot, so hold, often one or two would fall. It was great. It was so much fun. And I didn't get that it was like a stocked area because I was a child. But I remember like at the time being like, yeah. I'm an excellent hunter. <laughs> I'm, I'm an excellent hunter. Just Bro, firing into Harley, a cloud how, of birds. Dude, that's how Harley was ambushing a flock of pheasants at 12 feet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah, but I wasn't I wasn't ambushing the symbol of peace. The worldwide that's fair. Yeah, that's yeah. Fair. I, 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 well, you, you think that like you have like the idea of doves in your head before you go, especially yeah, as a kid, and it's like those white, pure, beautiful yeah. doves. Then you see a real dove, and it's like, oh, this like oh, so the dove was this like dove dove, ain't dove white. Is just, Kill it. It's just marketing. <laughs> oh, they're all dirty gray like pigeons. 
Oh, they are. Yeah, they yeah, all look that. dirty. The yeah. white ones are just bread for selling in TV. Yeah, for soap. Yes. It, they yeah. taste tremendous. For soap. <laughs> <laughs> for soap. I would, like, for soap, I would yes. like to try Dove it's at good. your it's house. Good. And, prepared yeah. by you. <laughs> well, you by can you. you can it takes two seconds to clean it because it's such a tiny little animal. You just grab like you take your finger on both sides and just pop it like you're breaking its spine and you just force the breast meat out. Oof. Then you just yeah. rip it. It takes it is the easiest animal you, to clean ever, and you look kind of cool while you're doing it because you're just you're, like uh Kali Ma. Like, yeah, ripping, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like, I did like, that with I did that with turtles. They're and so I was fragile. fucked up. They're so <laughs> They're so oh fragile God. that, like, 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 I, I'm. If you tried to like tear a dog's leg off, it just wouldn't work. Like, yeah, for one thing, right. he'd bite you at some point. But like, yeah, if you like reach into a dove's chest and just pull its entire breast meat out, it'll just come right out. Like you can mm -hmm. do that you with serious? your bare hands. You can, you can, yeah, yeah. No, the dog so, doesn't even just care. Just like, ah! Oh, it hates it. It hates <laughs> it. <laughs> it, it, it. I do, really. and they never fly again. But 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 wait, it, 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 the dove hates it. <laughs> Yeah, they, they hate I mean, it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I yeah, never I would imagine so. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever yeah, heard a know. dove scream? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, but but then the breast have. meat grows back, and the next year you 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 pluck it again. Oh, no, no, I get it. No, you, you shoot them, and then you know then then you like pull the meat off. But then, what you have is you have this little like breast like cutlet thing. Like it looks like a chicken, but mm. obviously incredibly tiny. And uh, you put cream cheese in the middle and uh, wrap it in bacon with a uh, toothpick and grill those things. are really, really fucking good. Quail is good it like sounds that. Sounds amazing. You need a lot of them, though. Like, if you're going to eat a meal of dove. It's like, like hot wings. You, you need, like, 11, 12 doves. It's just like hot wings, yeah. You need, you need 10 or 15 or something if you're mm -hmm. hungry. Especially, like, like, we we would sit there and, like, eat a dozen of them and, like, drink beer. And they're just so fucking good. I bet they're not. I bet they're pretty good for you, like, macro-wise. It's really lean really right. lean there's like no fat in there it's it, it's one of those things that like you probably couldn't even survive on if that was your yeah your I, I was reading something about that it's called like rabbit, rabbit, starvation, rabbit starvation where you you're you could have like as like if you're in the wild like you're less strout or whatever even if you had unlimited rabbit meat you could still starve to death because there's not enough fat in there to sustain you and your body can't survive on protein forever so I actually wow. just did a, well, I say just did. It was like last month. I did a video on Chris McCandles. He tried to be oh, a survivalist yeah, yeah. in Alaska. Uh, one of the Fucking lead theories dumbass. is he died of rabbit starvation. Yeah, that guy. Uh, <laughs> one of the lead theories is he died of rabbit starvation. So, so well, what, what else so did you, you go hunting all these rabbits, cook all these rabbits, eat all these rabbits and still die? Yeah. I would just be like, yes, oh, just yeah. kill me. Let's just skip to death. <laughs> well, I mean, I've, I've heard people around. say that. I've heard people say that about a lot of food. I was unaware that there was a term for that, but like whenever I was eating ramen when I was in prison and shit, people would say like, you know, that's technically not food, right? Like you couldn't eat just that and live. It just makes you not hungry. Like, is that what, no, is that a similar thing? It's good you thing? had some guys looking out for your nutrition. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I was like, I used to yeah. do drugs that'd kill me immediately. Shut up. Get off my back. <laughs> I did. But is that the same thing? I, I mean, like there's just I'm sure it is. Where, like you couldn't, you can't eat just that. Like you, so, you couldn't. It would be hard to pick a food maybe that you could that survive on. Like I bet, I bet yeah. potatoes. For some reason, I bet you could live a so, long time eating nothing that. But, but it's because yeah, you watch The Martian. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's because I watch The Martian. But you can't. You need uh, vitamins and minerals, right? Like at some point, you're gonna, you're gonna like run out of some vitamin and mineral, and like it's gonna become a problem. Like, like even if it yeah. doesn't like deficiency, it's not like, like maybe we could live without like that but like that leads to some disease or something like i just don't think you can scurvy for example diet. scurvy is so, a great example you need that you vitamin yeah. c like I. no vitamin c you get scurvy simple as that yeah. you can survive a really long time on potatoes compared to other food sources the main reason being it has a lot of like mineral supplements and it has all the amino acids needed for your body to put together its own yeah. proteins uh, the mm -hmm. issue you run into, like Kyle said, is a vitamin deficiency, but that won't kill you until like a few years. Uh, the only real time that we have proof historically is like in Ireland, like right potato before famine. the potato famine, where mm -hmm. there were families who exclusively lived on potatoes for years. That's the only time people have really died from like exclusively eating wow. potatoes. But, Imagine like, that. Like, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but. Oh, no, no, they, you're good. They went so long eating nothing but potatoes that they died. Like, yep. like what a terrible life. That that's that's, that might be the worst death I've ever heard of. Like, like, like <laughs> I do step by. Tater tot. Trying to nuts for dinner. 
What I the would, fuck do you think, Spurt? <laughs> I would take me though. It would take me four years. Like I would literally be like, like I love potatoes. I like if we're yeah. like you know. I mean, you boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Many ways to <laughs> consume these potatoes. I would be like literally like day 1,288. I'm kind of getting tired of potatoes now. What hey, do I say? I remember about? breakfast potatoes there's, and I'm there's back scientists, in. There's scientists studying you like, I don't fucking understand it either. Bobby's had nothing they but still potatoes. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> I, really? You're in I love potatoes. He only eats if poutine. He can only, if he can only have one. If you only have one form of potatoes, rest Whoa, of your life, only hold one form. Whoa, you're getting crazy That's with this scene. question already. I, I, I was thinking I about this just That's now. Offensive. I'm going breakfast potatoes, the most well, underrated kind of potato. You get some rosemary, little little peppers on there. Onions. It's good. Some onions in there. Yeah, onions. Yeah. Little I want you to know that breakfast potatoes are not underrated where I'm from in, in Montreal. It literally makes or breaks all breakfast restaurants. Like if you're not giving a nice helping of potatoes and good potatoes, your breakfast restaurant is fucked. I the want onions they're doing in there. there. I want there yeah. to be like a little bit of char on there, and it needs mm -hmm. to be hand. I, I want to notice that you've hand chopped those fuckers. Like it, it, yeah. Oh, okay. those are some consistencies in the size. As 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 a Tennessee boy, the sweet potatoes count. Yeah, uh, like, like I, I well, well, you, you don't get both. You it's, sweet it's, potatoes uh, as your only potato, potato. But, but I like sweet potatoes. Yes, easily sweet you potato wild, casserole, bro. Easily, easily. I think yeah. I, you're so different to me now in my brain and how I think. Like, I don't even know how to like. I thought I had you figured out bro. for a second. Now I'm like, <laughs> sweet, no sweet potatoes are way. very good. Sweet potatoes. There's no way I can pick sweet any potatoes form are of sweet potatoes. I can't. I wouldn't be able to pick sweet potatoes. I'm not changing all variations. I would rather have yeah. one variation right. of a normal right. potato than how all many, variations of sweet potato people, for, for my lifetime. How, all right. How many people in this group right now are from Appalachia? No. Mississippi. Okay, that's None what of I, us. That's, that's what I thought, which is why I'm the only one that's right, because I'm the only one who understands how just yeah, important we need to take sweet a, potatoes take a page are. Appalachia. To <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what yeah. flavor of moonshine do you prefer to go blind on? <laughs> I honestly, you know, I if do, I chose I know anything, people that's happened to. I, I, I don't honestly, if I chose anything Boy, else, Billy. like I'm sure after a year I'd be like, I fucked up. I think yeah, I got oh, played straight. Year. I got played straight and safe. I gotta be yeah. like French fries. Like, I, I really gotta be like French fries. I because I agree, I love breakfast potatoes, mm -hmm. but I think at a certain point I'll be like, oh, I fucked up. And, I, and then it's also like chips too. Even Can chips. I cheat? Oh, Can chips are yeah. potatoes. I, yeah, that's a good fries are a good answer. What if I say baked potato and then I can do stuff to it to make it other potatoes? Like you mean get a baked potato and then you mash yeah. it up? Yeah. I yeah. like that way of thinking. Well, see, I also, no. That's what I was thinking. No. I was thinking French fries are super <laughs> yeah. versatile. They're, 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 no, no. they're on the, same, they're on the no. other side of that one way or that two way mirror. They're like, holy fucking shit. He's cracked it, boys. <laughs> he's in there mashing nine it nine up. other types of potato. He made mashed potatoes out of a baked potato. Who gave him the fork? Did he ask for it? I knew yeah, it. It is not an answer to say, what if I bake a potato and then I cut it into small pieces and then put rosemary on it and then bake That's it again? My next step. What, what if I mash it, it and then put, you know, what, and then what if I bake it and then right. scallop it right. and then I throw it in the right. Right, if we can I play approve that of game, the loophole. I, I think potato, he figured it out. So I can start a potato garden, and then All I'll grow I'm several saying. potatoes. I can do whatever. Raw. Oh, he like. chose potato raw. <laughs> he chose raw not potato. Not understanding <laughs> this question. <laughs> that was the smartest move. The 400 raw. IQ play. You got to pick raw, one. Then I can do whatever the fuck I want. One mode. One mode. No. Of Kyle, are no. you going mushed or are you going baked? I am choosing for them to deliver to me a baked potato, and what I the way I consume that potato is up to me. That's the whole fucking right. question. I know it's the whole question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will. No, I no, I, I, I won't ruin the fucking question. Um, uh, I think, I think if you have to eat them forever, it might need to be those breakfast potatoes because they like yeah. strike a nice balance between like French fries and and like baked potato and everything else. Mm -hmm. They're not fried. It's a good fusion. Of, yeah, they're kind of, and yeah. I like you get, you like get a, a few of those on your fork with a little bit of, of egg. On I mean, there? obviously they're breakfast potatoes, mm -hmm. but there's something anyway. Scallop I like them. Potatoes, right? Well, the, I think of scalloped potatoes as the home, ones home fries that are, yeah, that are like, like layered yeah, me and too. casserole and baked. I put yeah, scallops yeah, I pretty low on the totem pole of of potato. I don't yeah. like, there's nothing like if I were given it's the option, potatoes, I like them. There's, but there's a special There's like it's six nice, different types nice of potatoes treat. I'd pick over that. You ever yeah, get that nice box? Treat. You ever get the box of potatoes a gratin? Yeah, the grocery store. That, that yeah, I do. I it, like it, that. I like any, that. I like it too. It's white trash food, but it's fucking Ugh, good. And, and nobody's <laughs> ever, whoever's got it. Like, like, all right. So it's this box of potatoes au gratin, 
and what you've got, which sounds oh, fancy and it ain't. It's like 78 cents. It's the macaroni and cheese of potato dishes. And it, yeah. you open the box and it's like hamburger <laughs> help. You look in and yeah. it's got all these dehy dehydrated potato <laughs> chips. They look like potato chips, but they're potato slices that have been mm -hmm. dehydrated so until they're so sad and weak. And then there's a big <laughs> packet of like cheese powder, like, like, like from like mac and cheese. And you mix butter right. and milk and the cheese powder and you bake. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you yeah. bake everything and they come out like pretty fucking good. And as a kid, like like that was, I thought I was Betty. Uh. I was like fucking, <laughs> I was like fucking eleven. Like 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 mom, look what I made. I made I made fucking potatoes of gratin in here. And she's like, you've made a huge huge fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> you, you made a huge mess you, is what she made. You, you've used every pot and pan that I own to make <laughs> just cheese powder all over the guy to make a place. microwave to make a microwave you, meal. <laughs> you were my greatest uh. greatest mistake why <laughs> <laughs> no, just, yeah. this I think a she always said regret, regret not mistake <laughs> whenever people were like uh whenever people were like hey you could uh what, what's uh, the only thing if you could choose one thing to eat on a on an island what would it be and i always got that question over the years and my answer uh i th thought i figured out the ultimate cheat answer and i would just say sandwich because mm -hmm. mm, sandwich nice cheat but then it's like i get to bring oreos all the different types of Oreos or sandwich, hamburger comes in, yeah. hot dog comes in, taco Tacos. comes in. That kind all of these hot dog, yeah, yeah. Hot dog question mark? No, not a controversy. No, that's a sandwich. <laughs> no, it's a sandwich. If, it's, if, it, if it contains meat and it's between two pieces of bread, that counts as a sandwich. Yeah. I'm just saying you know, right now that I've memed around with the argument. <laughs> I've no, memed with the argument for a long time, but if Harley from fucking Epic Meal Time tells me that a hot dog is a motherfucking sandwich, yeah, it is. A hot dog is a sandwich. And you bro. know what? If you think, if, and if a if a hot dog is a sandwich, <laughs> which it is, and then we know that an Oreo cookie is also a sandwich. Well, then we've decided that it's not just bread that is the deciding factor. You could use other materials too, and that's why a taco is a sandwich. That's right. You know, taco, you know what I would say? It's a material in I, between other materials. I I would actually a taco if, is an open face sandwich and cereal is soup i mean i, I this can sound crazy but i, I think cereal is a sandwich harley what? have you considered this cheat what? answer what they asked they asked what, what you want to eat for the rest of your life defend you that. say like uh tgi fridays now there's an establishment you... on your island you can sleep there you've got shelter you've got any tizers you know they've any got tizers? beer you were that and kid soda the one who gained all the questions like that. Yeah, one, yeah. <laughs> 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 right out of the way of it. Taylor, I got to know how you that. asked him that question yeah. after he just said that he considers cereal a sandwich. And after he dropped that bomb. Cereal uh, I soup. Just, I don't understand. Yeah. I don't no, yeah, it is soup. Right. It's true. But no, he's a sandwich. sandwich. No, no, no. It's a sandwich. sandwich. Let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> you see. Once you have these, all these sandwiches, you know, like we look at things like uh, uh, we were saying like a taco or, or uh, you know, if a taco is yeah. a sandwich, you know, if you like close it up, if you could close it up a soft taco, it's still a taco. It's still a sandwich. It's just enclosed mm -hmm. now. That would mean that enclosed items like that are also sandwiches. So like um, Ravioli, calzones. a calzone, calzone is a sandwich. Oh, I so love now calzone. imagine a calzone. I get behind that. Yeah. Imagine a calzone. Made of skin, filled with blood and bones. Yes. Yeah, we are sandwiches. And it's a baby. <laughs> we're sandwiches. sandwiches, bro. Like if you follow this line of logic, we're blood and bone calzones. We're sandwiches. Do I'm I still not certain. I'm buying now. Cereal is a sandwich. Cereal. <laughs> cereal. Once we break it down, everything is sandwiched. Dude, Your cereal a is sandwiched a... between a bowl. This is like and a air. Rick, this is like a Rick and Morty the, bit. The bowl like is eaten sandwich. though. This is how this is the educational system. You don't have to eat all of your sandwiches. Well, I don't know, Rick. That doesn't seem like a sandwich. More, you, 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 don't, you don't even understand what a sandwich is. You fucking retard. Oh, stop calling me a retard in front of my friends. Morty, if you talk again, I'm going to fucking execute you. I, I think I'm going to die. Your memories of me to less than you, Morty. Now. And I'm going to bring those memories right back. <laughs> No, Please don't oh God. <laughs> that's something really bad to hang over somebody's head. And I hope he didn't say that. I haven't seen all the episodes. Would be, well, God. there was the whole episode of uh, uh, when, Morty's mind when basically, yeah, M Morty's flashbacks or whatever, where it just shows all of the horrible things Rick did to him and, and hid in his memory, which that was the right thing to do. 
like Morty would have killed himself if he had half those memories of like getting getting abused sexually by aliens and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or or when he killed man. Santa Claus. Killing Santa. Yeah, it's true. He did. I'm not gonna lie. I, how long, uh, last time how that long I watched... did you guys uh, believe in Santa? What was your like total lifetime of Santa? I, I remember, remember when I was like my mom five. Asked me the other day. I, I asked my mom, I was like, is Santa real? Because kids at school were talking about it in kindergarten. And she was like, no. And so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And then I, I remember I told a couple of kids at school because I would, like I had the inside scoop and they got upset. Uh, yeah. But yeah, my parents never let me believe they, that. They tried to make me write a letter to Santa Claus in the third grade and I refused. Mm. Why? You're Define. too cool? You're like, fuck that. But. Because I don't I, know how to write, it's Dad. <laughs> no, but, no, no. I mean, it's school because I was, I was like, why my mom and dad give me gifts lately? Like, like, we worked yeah. this out last year when someone gave me a camera for Christmas, and I hid behind the couch to catch a picture of Santa Claus, and I caught Dad putting my train <laughs> set together. <laughs> like, like, uh, like I, I'm like, uh, like, like somebody gave me like a like a, a Polaroid. Um, yeah, uh, got him old. And uh, I, I was like, I, I hid behind the uh, the couch with this Polaroid camera, and I was like, when Santa comes out, I'm gonna fucking catch this bitch on film. National Enquirer. Next thing you know, Kyle's famous. Uh, I got this. Maybe maybe I get an interview. And, and instead, Dad came out, and I, and I was like, oh shit. And I was in second grade, so like seven or something like that. So the next year, when they tried to write, make me write this fake man a, a, a letter, it, it was just nonsense, and I didn't. It was want to insulting. Do it. You know, I, I, I think actually, nothing's more fitting than Kyle like performing an ambush on like an esoteric mythical being at the age of what seven? Seven. You're like I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna get him. No one else right. has, but I got this. Yeah, guy. just gonna get a picture. You're gonna hog tie him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I guess Dad's lucky that like they didn't really pump up the Santa mythos in my house. I could have been mm -hmm. back there with a pistol in one hand and I can't even. Like, I'm bang. Bang. All right, fat you man, smile me. for the camera. Hold up that newspaper. <laughs> Yeah, man. We, all right. <laughs> that makes Santa right. bleeding looks a lot like my dad bleeding. <laughs> I went to it, Santa's some sort of a demon. He changed into my father's form to try to trick me into letting him go, but I but beat still him mercilessly, up. and eventually he admitted it and gave me five hundred dollars cash. <laughs> Schizophrenic and child, Kyle. And I've called the National Chris. Enquirer and sent them pictures and the confession. <laughs> didn't you when uh, you were a kid though didn't you when you were a kid like even you would hear things that were fact but still want to believe in a way like i remember when i first heard santa was fake like i had older brothers and stuff and we would celebrate christmas at my cousin's house and i still remember like for years like up until like eight still going to bed and be like i bet you he's fucking real and he's coming here tonight though because i wanted that to happen so i would be like yeah to you maybe but I've seen enough movies to know that I'm the star of this story and he's going to come see me or some shit like that. I always I always dreamt up like fantastical stuff that I knew was going to happen. But I'd be like, but for me, I deserve Santa. I was a good little Jewish boy with no Christmas tree in this house. But Santa's coming here just because I wanted that. That's something that I wanted to believe. I think yeah. I was like that with some stuff. Um what was funny to me is I grew up at a Christian elementary school and uh, the way around it is that some parents had told their children like, oh, well, it, well God, you know, has Santa as one of his helpers, like San Santa helps God out. So then at school, if anyone's like, Santa's not real, it's like, oh, so you're an atheist. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and it became God, a point of dude. contention. <laughs> so a lot of so people like were uh, so scared that. into the Santa myth mythos for a while. Yeah, I mean they're both like ethereal beings who bring gifts and grace, whatever. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I mean it was it was much better, and maybe life was better when I believed in Santa Claus. Right? Like there was something really when there was still magic. Like 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 that was the last little bit of magic I think that uh, that, that that existed in my life. Uh, uh, when when I found out that Santa wasn't real, like it's seven, something like that. Because before then, I think I probably believed in like all sorts of things. Like like when you're like five, six, like maybe even the Easter Bunny. I don't, actually, no, I don't think I ever believed in that shit. I, even my yeah. parents, like yeah. like that. I, I think the Easter Bunny. Like I'll say this. I'll take this little leap. Step out on this ledge. Any fucking kid out there that believes in the Easter Bunny is fucking weird. You should keep an eye on them. Parents, if you got a kid out there talking about <laughs> the Easter Bunny and shit, like, and you didn't like 
drill that into them if they just believe that because they watch like watch a Cadbury commercial one time. Yeah. Keep an eye on that little fucker. Yeah. He's gonna do weird shit to animals one day. Like, and we, gonna... we, think, uh, we think we think he's a loser too for believing such a stupid. For sure, thing. for sure. Uh, your kids sure. are fucking little idiots. Also, your kids. You, should, you should definitely bully your children. Parents Hard. <laughs> no, it, or the tooth the tooth fairy though. I think we got down with. But here's the thing: that it's easy to believe in the tooth fairy because, like, nobody knows what she looks like. So it's just, it's kind of like Santa. You quickly you're like, wait a minute, God, he's everywhere. He always looks different. That's a black Santa. I now I'm calling bullshit. Like, like, <laughs> I love don't, don't the tooth don't, fairy doesn't have a established lore. If I was a black person, I would feel so fucking pandered to by a black Santa Claus. It's like, are you kidding me? What you you didn't think yeah. that we believed a white man could give us a gift? Like like what kind of nonsense is Black Santa? Like I would feel super pandered too. But the, that's neither here nor there. I believed in the Tooth Fairy though because I'd never seen her before. She sh always showed up with cash in hand, and she didn't even bother me about it. Like 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 I woke up, the money was there, the dirty bloody tooth was gone, and uh, it seemed like a you good know, deal. You think that may be part of it? Like Santa brought us gifts, and we're like, yeah, I'm on board. Tooth Fairy brought us money, yeah. Easter Bunny, some like warm Reese's pieces and a an plastic egg. Yeah, like it, yeah. it could have just been that we were willing to buy in because we didn't want to question where the money was coming from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I remember, think that's it. I remember my tooth being under my pillow and like literally being asleep, but like waking up, like when my mom came in and she's like reaching under the pillow and I like grab her. I'm like, hey, and she's like, oh, and I'm like, how much she give you? <laughs> How much she give you for the two? <laughs> nice, nice, like, mom. She's like, You're not gonna I believe it, with that bitch. Five fucking dollars. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yeah, I know. She's, she's ripping like, me off. I got the pliers, honey. <laughs> we got. Like, like, I wonder if there's ever a kid who did that. See, that's that would be a great like bit in a movie or a TV show if like the parents were trying to decide: do we t do we extend this nonsense to the tooth fairy as well? Yeah, honey, I grew up with a tooth fairy. I don't know. I think it's bad teaching a kid this nonsense. Trust me, what could go wrong with a tooth fairy? And then, like, they give the kid the $10 for the tooth or whatever. And then the kid, like, pulls all his teeth out the next day with pliers. <laughs> like, like, because he, like, because oh, he, like, needs those. That'd be a is great that, fucking bit. Is that, is that, is that the, the amount that you, that you got? My brother gave his kid 10 bucks for a tooth. And I was oh. like, I like called him. I was like, bro, you're gonna raise sh fucking shitty people, bro. See, I disagree. <laughs> box of two? I said ten. I said ten because I bet that's what kids get now. I my, I got nineteen ninety one dollars, and I got five of them. Um, Oops, that's sorry. a long time. You were ago, getting right? you were getting Lincoln's under the pillow. Yeah, yeah. Dude, there I was, was a time onesies. like I, I was I was reaching under there <laughs> pulling too. out change. Oh I, no, I got, I got a fucking <laughs> loony. I got like a hard loony. I lost. Uh, I lost one of the the big two, one of the front teeth yeah. here, and I thought that was like for some reason in my head I'm like different teeth obviously have different inherent values. That's really and smart I thinking thought, for a kid. I think I never yeah, thought that. Actually. I was like I, tooth to tooth. You're like this one's the front boy. You better pay up, bitch. I got I got two dollars for that one, and that was I think the most I ever got from the tooth. Fairy, That's because which, you like, probably communicated it with your parents, and they like they were like, damn, Taylor's pretty smart for that. He wanted more for his front teeth. Yeah. Give him a little extra for this one. Man, or he's I, a I, I, kid. We Kyle, like it. Kyle, you you were talking about like people pulling their teeth out. I like this was first grade, I guess. Like when you start losing a bunch of your baby teeth, kindergarten, first grade. I had like one of those big ones in my front, and it was genuinely pretty loose. And so I pulled it out. I, I think I tied a uh, a string to it, and then just put the other one on the door, closed the door, and it pulls it out. No pain or anything. Right. And then like all my friends were losing teeth too. And in my head, it's like the more teeth you lose, the more mature and adult like you are. Cause oh, like no. you're maturing. And so like, I would like push on the other tooth and the lower. So like the four big ones in the front, Me I too. would just sit there Come like on. watching TV and I would push and I'd be like, yeah, that's a little loose. And then I would work on it. And until it was like <laughs> loosened. And so over the course of like maybe 10 days, all four of these teeth I pulled. Oh, Only one of them was ready. No. And so my first grade, my second grade, the beginning <laughs> of my third grade photos, I have no fucking teeth. Rip, like they're, they're right. not even close to needing to come in. But like, like I was just straight up missing teeth like a hockey player for years. <laughs> Those that was kind of psycho looking. Terrifying. <laughs> that is word. hilarious.
That is so <laughs> I remember I kept pulling them out, and my mom at one point was like, Taylor, these aren't ready to come out. And I'm like, yes, it yes, is. They are. Ah! I need like, a dollar. Like, you're, like, you're not you're going to have blood sweat this year. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you I got like, 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 I already got big teeth. Did you just, I mean, there's so many foods that are difficult to eat without front teeth. Oh, it was impossible. Yeah. I was, I was side of the mouth chewing for years. And yeah. I also had a bunch of, uh, uh, I broke my nose a couple times when I was little and I had a fucked up sinus just from being born with the fucked up sinus thing. And so I wasn't able to chew with my mouth closed ever un like un until I was until I was seven or eight. And I broke my nose for the first time. And like my dad would yell at me all the time sitting at the table because I would be like sitting there chewing and like I could only breathe through my mouth. My nose didn't work. <laughs> and so I was like chewing and then I'd be like in the middle of about to swallow. I'm like, <gasps> <sighs> my dad Damn. would be like stop chewing with your mouth open and i'm like looking around at everyone yeah, look, else and i'm like how do they have the ability to hold their breath this long this consistently was, you look like a fucking same? pass dispenser uh -huh. I God, was, God, you can see all the food was, in there but was, I, I remember at the hating same it. time you didn't have front teeth you yeah i didn't breathe. have any teeth either and so it was taking so it was taking me longer you're to lucky chew. to be alive <laughs> Also, a toothless child just gasping as they're I, trying I, just, to I remember on their that molars. explicit. I remember explicitly <laughs> one evening eating chili, which I hated, and eating chili and then like chewing and just like even little like two second chews, like because chili doesn't take long to eat. Like still just mm -hmm. <gasps> <sighs> eating again. <laughs> I, I like uh, I take a bite of like caramel or something. I'm you know, dancing. I'm dancing with the devil at that point. You know, <laughs> I might die. I might asphyxiate. I, was... I remember one time what that reminded me of uh, my youngest sister when she was eight years old, seven or eight years old. She got OK, so I broke her nose with the Bible. That's its own story. Hell yeah. I broke oh, her wow. nose, a basketball goal fell on her. She got double black eyes and she had broke her arm on her bike all in the span of like a couple weeks. So she <laughs> had to God. cast two black eyes and one of those nose bridges. Mm, my sick. mom was going to the bank one day and brought her along with him and while mom was talking the girl the teller behind the counter was like oh um how is the weather like just weird conversation mom's like i don't know it's kind of weird she started looking around and the bank manager had taken my sister over the side and was like oh, be honest God. with me did mom do this to you did oh my God. <laughs> yes yes she did <laughs> And then, no, what was worse, because I broke her nose, she goes, no, just my brother. And they're like, oh, oh does, your brother, does your brother hurt you a lot? Um, but I, I thought about that, because I imagine Taylor, like, in <laughs> public with no teeth, like, <gasps> trying to shake. Making his parents look bad. That's how yeah, it Struggling. <laughs> just struggling like to survive. Like an idiot. That's, uh, I, rem I remember after I broke my nose for the first time, and they fixed my 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 breathing pathways a little bit and like it took until then for me to realize that everyone else was breathing while they were chewing yes they were like <laughs> everyone else was doing that and it was like oh i i get it it is rude to chew with your mouth open because he thought i could breathe and i was choosing not to like being a <laughs> yeah dick. you thought you were just being a, an yeah. asshole which is it's understandable i really don't like when people chew with their mouth open it's something really weird happened to me i was growing up and I'll, my sister's seven years older than me. My brother's nine years older than me. And I would sit down and we'd eat cereal in the morning. And it was one of my favorite things to eat cereal. And they would literally be like, shut the fuck up. And I thought, I literally just thought they were trolling me. Because mm -hmm. they'd be like, oh, no, oh, no. like, can you shut the fuck up? And I was like, what are <laughs> they talking about? And that went on like my whole life. <laughs> and then I smoked weed for like the first time. Like one of the first times when I was like 17. And I was like, oh, let's have some cereal at my house. And my buddy's like, yeah. <laughs> and no joke, I swear on my life, I had cereal. I put the thing in my mouth, and I'm, this is it exactly, because I did it for 17 years. I remember it. I put it in my mouth, and I went, um, um, um. But it was so normal to me. I never heard it my whole life until I got high, and I was having some out-of-body experience. And I was like, no, I'm not. And I was like, why am I making this noise? I was like, this is the noise. This is the cursed <laughs> breakfast noise I made my whole life. And my brother and sister thought I was the ultimate troll when I, because for seven years, I'm like, I'm not making noise, you fucking weirdo. And they're That's like, crazy, bro. Up. I swear to God, bro. That's crazy. I swear to God. Fuck. 
You just like actively yeah, going. Mm. <laughs> I was literally because I'm trying to breathe while eating, and I don't yeah. want to breathe out of my nose. Because maybe as a kid, I like got milk in my nose once trying to do that. Right. So yeah. I was breathing, and I was like chewing, and it was like a this muscle memory you had. Literally, and I never heard it. It was like regular to my brain, but then so you it smoked blocked weed it out, and you noticed it. Bro, I'll tell you something really That's fucked crazy. up about smoking weed. And I don't even like sharing this story. And I don't even want the fucking PKA fan base to know about this. <laughs> but this You're is like, actually true. And you know what? If I you know what? I'm 36 years old. My 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 ego is just non-existent anymore. So I could share this story. And I know someone out there probably has it too, and they'll never admit it because I don't even want to share it right now. <laughs> also, one of the first times I got high, I took a shit, wiped my ass, and instinctually. The shit covered toilet paper went up to my face and I stopped it like, what am I doing? <laughs> and I realized at that moment, I always smelt my shit after the first wipe my entire life and never thought two ways around it. <laughs> like an animal seeing if I was okay, I would wipe my ass and be like, okay, and that's it. <laughs> so I'm 17 and I'm high now. I wipe my ass and I'm like, what I'm weird. am I doing? I was, like, was going to smell you, that. You. And then I was like, wait. I always smell it. And I'm having all these memories of me like, <laughs> like and all of a sudden it's years, fucking weird. It was weird. It, like you don't smell sudden. your own shit. Like, bro, like <laughs> just look at it. That is smell the gave room. you the outside perspective you needed. Who smell smell the, the room. room. Let it walk. Who, who, Let who, it walk. who, who there, told you that that was like the procedure that you smell your shit? It's just like everything. animal instinct. Like, like a dog will shit and go and smell it. Like I would be like, what's up today? And I'd be like, that smells <laughs> like I'm not in a good place or something. I don't know what I thought. Like, you know, it was like a subconscious thing. It was literally like a fucking stupid little dog that mm. shit walks over and goes, why am I smelling this? Like, I was about to was ask if you ever gleaned any useful information from sniffing your shit. Like, man, no, I need some more protein. Nothing useful. I got information. Just just every single day, like you're like, oh, that smells <laughs> terrible. Info, it wasn't <laughs> yeah, every like, day. Hey, just, damn, it still ten, stinks. Year 10. Still stinks. <laughs> just keep yourself um, humble. Like, when I got, shit still when I got high, when I got high, like a lot of things that I did, I was like, oh my God. And this is going to sound really weird. I think I was retarded before I started smoking. <laughs> there were things you. that I did that I never realized. And like, I'm sure if I went and got a test right now, they'd be like, yeah, you're like a little sprinkle of autism or something like that. And I'd be like, bro, I would be a lot more if I wasn't blazing my whole life. I used to smell my own shit. Dude, I, 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 weed. They'll be like, weed all right, really keep made smoking. a huge impact on your life. Then, like, yeah, the, the only thing it makes me like double think about is like if I'm really stoned and like I'm hanging out with friends or whatever, and they're like, you know, something will happen. They'll be like, what kind of pizza do you want? I'm like, a pepperoni and jalapeno. And then, like in my head, I'm sitting there like two seconds later, like, did I say that weird? I think oh, I said yeah, that yeah, really yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. I think I said I say that pepperoni and jalapeno. And it's Did like, I but, if I, and but if I address it, if I address it and I didn't say it weird, then it makes it weird. Then I look well, weird and I look super high. And they're going to think I'm yeah. weird and not want to get high with me anymore. Yeah, I got very comfortable <laughs> early on being like, goodbye now. And they're like, what? And they're like, I just, I'm getting so high right now that I know in about four minutes, I'm going to be different. So I'm saying goodbye <laughs> to you now because it's not me. Because <laughs> so I'm going to Mars. But I do later. Like, that's not me, you know? The, like, the best way to, like, keep yourself from getting too fucked up on weed, like when you've taken a bunch of edibles or smoked too much, is playing a game. Doesn't matter what the game is. It could be Magic the Gathering. It could be Monopoly. It could be chess. If you're fixated on a game, like you don't get too high. Have you ever? Anyway. Um, I know we've all yeah. been in like I think maybe we've all been in like various games before and into those communities that play them. Uh, what games have you played that seemed like marijuana go hand in hand together? Because I'm playing a lot of Tarkov right now, and it seems like everybody I play with is stoned. And it's not <laughs> just because like everybody really? I know. It's Tarkov. It's not just that, that everybody I know smokes weed. It's just like. Right. Like I'm meeting new, pl new That's people and like I'm meeting like friends of friends and like people who play Tarkov and like that. The only way I'm meeting them is because they play the game and and all we'll be about weed. to start a raid and I'm like, all right, hang on a minute, let me smoke this Delta Eight. And they'll be like, yeah, let's all hit it. I'm like, wait, you're saying <laughs> I'll hear I'll, I'll hear like three blow torches fire up, like a bubbler. <laughs> There's something bubbling in the background. Some guy's got a huge volcano bag. Like everybody's hear... blazed, and yep. and we're sitting there just doped up as fuck, like playing Tarkov. That's I always a, a little bit of a bitch feeling when like 
you know, you're like, oh, all right, everybody's getting stoned. Okay. And you like light your normal bong with flour and you hear a guy go like, eat. <laughs> <laughs> like, in the, in the, it's like, oh my God. He must no, bro, have been a chemistry the mail for the extract. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. The real, the real game you want is the one where you're like, yeah, next round. And then you hear like, I was like, I'm done playing with the weed guys. Team Coke teammates, way more useful. Yeah. Coke team yeah, on the comms, bro. Coke that's team the on the comms go crazy. Crowd. They yeah. do that. That's, yeah. that's what they're about. Yeah, the I, I like on the comms. It, it usually leads to like a much more laid back, relaxed kind of thing because that game could get hectic and I don't need people like hyped up and screaming all the time. On yeah, the yeah, top, I can't imagine anything worse than someone be like, bro, why don't we just stand up and run? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's on just go with guns though, blazing. On I'll look back around right? to Woody in Mexico sending you ransom letters. He's in someone's stash box We're not right paying. now. I want, <laughs> first of all, I want the, 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 sad, I want the people letter. skinning cartel of Juarez, Mexico to hear this now. We will oh, not God. pay. We will not pay. You... Woody is a strong man. Okay, he Woody can take handle whatever it. you can dish out. He's as I bet as you nails. couldn't skin Woody alive if you tried. You better sharpen what? that knife. He's All on right. a list now. He's you thick skin. Now. You're Good not luck. gonna mail Kyle fingers, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we're all on a list now oh yeah we're, we're, getting, we're getting hit for sure. we just some guy going one. hard against the cartel like for no reason then they fuck him up <laughs> dude that wasn't ever even involved in the first place no never involved turns out there never. actually was a people skinning cartel of juarez mexico <laughs> and they took our broadcast None too kindly. <laughs> there's gonna be a the there's gonna be a whatever happened to FPS Russia. No, it'll be Woody. They're getting him. He's the one that's there. He's already there. No, I, I thought you were talking out. about because you you called them out. But yeah, good point. Oh, Woody's oh, already no, they, there, would sure. never, they would that's never. They would. That's such a like. Uh, like See they if you can find out why me. they call him Woody. Good luck. They they would. Woody's dare. family vacation Mexico. Like the cartel takes him away from his family. It's like such a a sub like B plot to that movie. I, it's like the cartel yeah. rolling up on Woody. Like I have a certain out. set of skills. <laughs> but it's mostly talking into a mic online. I will find you. And I will Learn paramotor towards useful. you. Can you imagine Woody building a paramotor like, like Iron Man in a cave somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> he gets so stranded he and has to rock, build one out of rocks. Like, He's like running from the car to <laughs> they're just or like, laughing. Or like that Shooting was the at plan. him on the ground the from a like, Jeep. That was the plan at the end. He's like, it's a bicycle. <laughs> we can still use it. It's a bicycle, though. <laughs> he fl it, it fly away home too, the Woody story. Oh. <laughs> well, you know. You ever see that movie Fly Away Home? It's about the no. little girl that rescues the goose. I have never seen I think the little girl goose movie. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, this little girl. She rescues a, like a Canadian goose, a Canada goose, and uh, Canadian. Yeah, they're terrible ge geese. No, they're the best of geese. They're the and, meanest geese. Yeah, they'll fuck you up. Uh, she rescues like a Canada goose, and uh, and then you know at the end, she she realizes like this geese wants to fly you know north or whatever, but it doesn't know how. It doesn't have its own flock. It's got nobody to teach it to fly. So I want to say she like builds herself an airplane or learns how to fly this little like, like like high um ultralight aircraft. And then she's like, "Come on, buddy!" And like she flies with the goose to like Canada and back, like to teach this, it to this make sounds the trip. <laughs> This is it was realistic. It happened. It's a true story. That, that, that movie sounds like it sucks <laughs> the ass. There are no Just stakes. The what are the stakes that a the goose, goose doesn't make it north to harass someone yeah. in a parking lot? Yeah, you gotta get it a room with a heater. The man, hold on. The man who just threatened the cartel saying they couldn't skin Woody alive if they wanted to. They could talk about how heartwarming <laughs> the Canadian goose movie is. Yes. Well, when it comes to yes. saving Woody's life, I'm no a fan of consistency. I'm certainly not making everything up. I believe it well, as we I go don't along. Negotiate with terrorists here. We've made that clear time and time again. We won't but deal with the people skinners. But I'm the only the terrorist are... they negotiate with, and I'm not trying to negotiate anything. I'm just chilling. But, go so. but goose are not considered terrorists to you. They're on the fly list. I'll be honest. Every time I see somebody, like every time I see a grown ass <laughs> man tolerate a goose 
fucking with him for one second. I don't get it. I, I like you've been emasculated. <laughs> you have been emasculated by a goose, sir. What do you, you do, Kyle? If a Canada, goose comes that out, that happens in Canada all the time. I'm ending it right there. I swear. What are you to gonna God, do? Just shoot the goose? I'm killing and it. Kick I, it? I, no, I don't. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. He's, look at that long neck. Grab its on, neck and fucking bare hand. On that bitch. It's like Close it's, it's to the like, wall. Like, I saw, I don't remember if it was a guy or a girl, but I saw that an internet video where, where finally they had enough and they were just like, motherfucker, are, are you serious right now? How about this? And like dragging it by its neck over and like slinging it into a pond. Like that, they oh, need, that, seen that. They need saw, that treatment every time they step They were out like, that's how you do it. I saw an ostrich get its head wedged <laughs> between like two things before you saw that. And it was like, get me out of here. And it yanked its own head off. Yeah. <laughs> it was Wait, fucking what? weird. Yeah. What? Its own yeah. head off? The ostrich Literally, head like, off. It, it gets its head stuck in like I don't know, like a bar between a barn door and the latch, or a train door and a latch, something like that, some sort of metal latchy door, and it's just stuck. But you know, if it had like turned its head like this and pulled it out, it probably would have came right up. But instead, it's freaking out and it tears its own head off and falls. Literally over, like, yanks it out. What a dumbass! That's crazy. It deserves and I was like, bro, imagine Whoa. that thing headbutting you though. It just like whips its head at your face. Oh, there's that one bird from like maybe New Zealand or Australia that had that big bony like structure on their head. That's wild. The um. The one, it makes chainsaw noises. I know the one you're talking. It's from New Zealand. Yeah, um, they can mimic like car alarms and stuff like that, they look like a pterodactyl. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's, not, they, that's so, not the shoe bill it, thing, it, is it? It's, it's a uh, no. They can it. mimic uh, like any sound they hear. So there's like uh, these people who go camping who talk about they'll hear a chainsaw getting cassowary. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, Zach. They'll talk hey. about hearing a chainsaw getting closer, and then like, oh no, it's just the Velociraptor. Don't worry. And it's running out to making car noises. <laughs> yeah, look at this thing. Uh, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, guys. that is. I've seen those on nature shows. Yeah. That's a yeah, shark horrific. bird. That thing does. That bird. horn looks like a straight dinosaur horn. No joke. It really does look like a pterodactyl. Do they, do they like, uh, I'm assuming that's a male, and, like, they bash those those horns together with other males to mate, probably? That can't be true. So. Well, then what's the point? Because, like, that's what, like, rhinos what? do that shit. Deer do that. Like, every time the male has a horn or antlers, it's because they want to impress the ladies. Then explain the, the narwhal. That's like if that bird looked at a picture of me shirtless, they're like, that's a female, let me guess, and the babies suck those titties yeah. for milk. <laughs> it, <laughs> Gotta be. Good shot. What, what, what animal is the most, like, ridiculous that if it, you can't say platypus, that's cheating. What animal yeah. if you, like, did you think was fake when you first heard about it? Because it's like, wait a minute. Like, Do sea bears bears? count? Sea bears? You mean manatees? No, 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 I'm talking about sea bears. Uh, those are sea cows. Are you, about, are you talking about tardigrades? That's it, tardigrade. Yeah. Uh, Do those count? Yeah, okay, I don't know if that, that's an animal, huh? I mean, they're probably alive. Tasmanian those... devil for me. I was like, that's a real thing. Yeah, yeah, the cartoon. I, yeah. not anymore. That's the cartoon. I was surprised yeah, when I... those were real as well. And I was like, Bro, I, was surprised that marsupial... I was surprised the marsupilami wasn't real. <laughs> it's the uh, the narwhal. Oh, the narwhal. narwhal. Hey, the narwhal, I legit didn't know those were real until like a year and a half ago. For real, I always thought like that, that was a mythical creature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I they, thought it was like an internet meme. It's not just. Am me I the only that? one? Am I the only one who thinks that like a narwhal horn would be the coolest fucking thing ever? Like, I want a narwhal horn like on the end of like a cane. Like, I, be I bet sick. if I, I, I feel like a narwhal horn is what you would use to like spear a demon or something. Like, like yeah. it looks like it has the magical, magical. power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be. A, it would with be you, a bro. I'm with cool you. I'm vibing. Thing. Like I could see that being like the whole plot to a season of Supernatural, having to get a narwhal <laughs> horn to like stab a demon. I think we should like, go or on a maybe in real life. Like, go get one. I, I don't know if they're protected or not. They seem. I don't care if they're protected. I swear there was some group of people who. Oh yeah, the Inuits. That's right. They hunted them to like near extinction in that Those area. Because... Josh is about to finish the job <laughs> because they wanted to keep the. Uh, oh, that's a shitty one though. Like find, find me a good one. That that one's only a grand. Like what? What are we peasants? Yeah, <laughs> what the what the fuck? The, the fact that that shit even, out. What is this? A narwhal horn for for the, ants? The, ants? The, the, ants? The fact that you would even show me a sub ten thousand dollar narwhal horn. You just don't know like, how we ball around here. Apparently. If I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play. Those, I bet those things are super sharp. I don't think they are. I bet at all. you could use. I'm not them. sure. You don't think so? I don't. I'm looking at pictures sharp. and they look fucking sharp. But don't they? Scary. Don't they naturally they look grow sharp. to a point? They, like they, they do that like curly cute thing. Um. I, I watched a thing about it a while I back. That I, I think I think for a long time they didn't know what they did with them, and now I think they just think that they just like 
touch them together because it feels good. That's the main reason they exist. That's not Wait, true. They say that's what that's the way it exists say? because that's, it feels good. Yeah, that's what scientists we all? say. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I they are scientists. I, I can't remember why those fucking whales uh, have that that silly horn, but I want one of those horns, and I want either a cane or a spear, or maybe like, man, I, I just want. Lots, actually, uh, actually, I'm gonna need a lot of horns. Tooth. That's actually right. their canine tooth. Oh my god! Whoa. That's a rare double, a rare double horn narwhal. Ah! Apparently, this is their tooth. By the way, this is the a, a double canine narwhal. Tooth. You know, this one's got to be rare. It's pretty a cool. Holy shit! Narwhal. That's amazing. That looks really cool. I like how they're both the same it. length. Oh, I think maybe I read they're like a sensory organ. Like, like maybe they can detect like something in the water. Interesting. Well, it says here on Wikipedia, it's like literally. <laughs> it can detect it's, 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 anything it's, that it hits with its horn. It's <laughs> they said it's literally a protruding tooth. Wow. So you'll look at my hand. I can detect this desk. <laughs> so it's like it's like big car bumpers. Just stuck yeah, out that's the how it works. It wherever it goes. Okay. You know, cool. you know what? An animal I wasn't 100 sure was real was that blob fish, mm. where they, mm. you know, you know that fish where it yeah. lives in like. A million feet underwater or whatever Monkfish, and yeah. when they when they pull it up the, the pressure. pressure fucks it mm -hmm. and it basically like turns it inside out and it has this cartoony face and it wasn't yeah, with the big nose I, flopping I, I was just like this looks like like a practical effects like goblin face this doesn't look real and then you see what it looks like before it's been fucked up by pressure pretty normal looking fish. and it's not that I, weird i believe just that a fish. Yeah. does yeah. it kill them to like expose them yes. to the low pressure yeah they die from it mm -hmm. Yeah. They're like when they, they, when they reel up it up and, and so it has a complete just, body so, transformation. So every time you see this picture, just know that is dying see? a horrible death. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a, yeah it, it's like, like, imagine imagine someone reeling you at a hundred miles an hour from base camp at Everest to the top, and you're just <gasps> <gasps> yeah, exactly. <laughs> see what it's no, like, yeah. pressure change. Oh, no, 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 no. It's worse than that. It's 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 like being put it in a vacuum. Worse, yeah. It's like but I, it's like being put in a vacuum because they're used to like all that pressure and now mm -hmm. none. That's I yeah. hate that well, this fish like, came out looking more human. Yeah, it definitely yeah. does. <laughs> like it's like a 10% transformation towards being just an ugly guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a big nose. Literally. It's fucking it kind of looks like Peter Griffin now. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah. When I, whenever I go fishing, uh, like in the lakes locally, most of the time those fish will die if, like, I'm running a plug, what, 20 feet under? Because they have the air bladder in them that they adjust to how mm. high up and down they want to go. So if, like, a fish is 30 feet down and you rip it to the top and it doesn't change its air bladder, whenever you throw it in a live well, it can't adjust and it'll just sit there and suffocate after, like, an hour. Um, oh, Jesus. So that, that's why, like, a lot of the time, fisher, whenever they pull them up, they'll, like, stab them in the air bladder, then throw them back. Like, here, have fun. Um, or to put them in the live well for a while. Because otherwise, they'll, like, whenever you see on those, like, I've shows, never seen a fisherman bass, stab a fish in the air bladder and say, have fun. You do that. That's to awful. Throw Okay, not to have fun. You do that to throw <laughs> it in the live well, so that way whenever you hold it up on camera later, it's not a dead fish that's yeah. been rotting in a cooler for two hours. Okay. <laughs> uh, but the issue is that they get suffocated because they're not adjusted to the depths. So that's like 30 feet in a you know landlocked lake. Imagine the bottom of the ocean yeah. getting ripped up that fast. You think there's Horrific. any... Uh... Do you think there's anything interesting down there? Like, like, like you think yes. maybe there's some yes. like intelligent, yes. like, like fish people, like in that movie The Abyss? Mm. Um, I don't think there's fish people, sure but I think there's got to be cool, cool sea monsters, creatures, stuff that lives in the deep that we don't know about yet. Well, exactly. I was reading National exactly. Geographic exactly. when I was locked up. It said that they estimate that we have discovered 98% of all species that exist on land and approximately 2 to 4% of species in water. Yeah, but I don't care about all of those shrimp that they that they want me to discover. That's what it would mostly be. <laughs> yeah, talking about fucking like, aliens. Yeah. There's eighty thousand kinds of shrimp down there. You guys give, give us got fun give this. us a new no. whale. He's right though. That's what it largely boils right. down to with no, the technical I wanna, species differences. I want mm -hmm. I want a monster. I want I want something like enormous. There would be monster. We don't know, bro. <laughs> it's true because of the like like the like the the gravity there or whatever it is. They tend to be bigger, apparently. Mm -hmm. Have well, I mean, wasn't it deeper, like uh, the deeper sea makes bigger creatures? I just watched I a video about it. It's because of their didn't, buoyancy. Uh, didn't they not even have like a hundred percent evidence for the giant sea squid? 
until, until like recently. relatively recently. Yeah. yeah they'd be like, there's these arm. big beak shaped bites taken out of this sperm whale's stomach that washed up on the beach. No, we we fine, theorize though. it could be a giant squid and then they found it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's suckers. Yeah. Uh, they would find the, the scars from where the, the sperm whales would fight the squids and, and they'd have these scars on them and it's from the uh, the suckers of a, of a giant squid had like a like a like a like a hook in them or something, and uh, but but yeah, I think they're what a really, crazy really battle. Like, and then I think mm, have you ever seen epic. Like, um, have you ever seen the picture? It's actually video of like it's under an oil rig, and there's that long like uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like tall creature. Like like maybe it's a it's either a um, it looks like a squid, a, a, a squid or a, or a, or, a, or a jellyfish or something. It's some kind of horrific looking thing. It looks a lot like the aliens from um. What's the Will Smith movie? Independence Day. It looks a yeah. little bit like their like like them. It's fucked up. Super scary. Uh that I've always been afraid of of like the like the deep ocean and all the stuff in there. Like like mm -hmm. I could I like whenever uh, I could imagine if I imagine myself being like neck deep in the ocean and just bobbing up and down, that's a real scary, yeah. scary place At to night, be. Something huge coming up underneath you. At night or or day, I don't I, I don't know that day is a lot better than night. Like I feel it, like at it's night, the worst maybe no it, matter what because you have no chance. Anything that wants to fuck with you can fuck with, and you, you. can't get away at all. The same way, like no, you're if fucked. there was if there was a shark, like a nurse shark, laying in the middle of a public park, I can <laughs> I can do anything I want to that thing. Run up it's and an head territory. kicks. I'm spitting on it, pissing on it. <laughs> like I can do whatever I want because it's in my domain. The I don't only go to their domain. domain. Yeah, they're gonna fuck us up. No, I, you know, rolled. I was thinking like, I know the sperm whale and the giant squid. They have their little rivalry. I can't imagine that that is like a winning record for the squid. Like that's the sperm whales uh -huh. have to be like Alabama up until this year. Yep. Just every <laughs> year the squids, the squids are like, this is the year we've been drafting steadily. Our defense is solid. <laughs> Ah fuck! It's a whale. We keep forgetting. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we we should have picked a rival that wasn't a, the biggest carnivore on Earth. A whale with teeth the size of Brock Lesnar's forearms. Bro, uh, maybe this is what sperm whale are terrifying. Like me, meanwhile, the poor being squid. killed by them. Oh, word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the the sperm whales also they can like click at such a resonance that like it kills you in the water. I heard Maybe about that. Yeah, like so they can like shoot, like flick essentially fish as they're going to hunt them. Yeah, where they can like or whatever that noise. Yeah, is. yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that's what I mean. Like it's like Boom. it's like an yeah. air bubble that like, like a stuns them. Thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe oh, this, that isn't, maybe this yeah. isn't interesting to people, but this was like a new fact to me within like the last couple of years, uh, and it was mind blowing to me. But maybe not to everyone. Maybe I'm just an idiot. But <laughs> uh, sharks are older than trees. Yeah, that's true. That yeah. always fucked me up. Mm -hmm. I was like, "What?" That's just I, like crazy. I know that that's, that's like scientific, evil. but I it doesn't just, make sense. It's the worst thing to say. The, the family of organisms that that became sharks started evolving before the organisms that became trees did. So sharks were impressive. around when there were no trees uh, uh, in the land at all. There were primitive, mm -hmm. primitive. I mean, we're talking mm -hmm. like hundreds of millions of years ago, pre proto sharks, but technically. Sharks existed before trees. Yes. Yeah, and they. I, I read right. that fun fact not too long ago as well. I was like, "That's fucking weird," and also interesting. <laughs> I think some yeah. species of shark they say like haven't significantly evolved in eons, which right. is like pretty wild. That they were perfect. Like, they got it. they got to the peak. Yeah, and exactly. it was like, okay, if any shark is born without these features, it's a net negative, and that will be bred out. Yep. Like, what's yeah. the ideal shark? Exactly this one. Apparently, it exists. Eyes on the sides, the sides of the heads, like yeah. two rows of teeth. You got a good point. Constant I got a nature's yeah. endorsement that you're, you know, if you can prove that something hasn't evolved in a million years, they pretty much got it right. It looks like. Have, yeah, and uh, like us, like we're not even close to peak. What the fuck are pinky toes? Like, <laughs> like we're, that's we're, how we're getting rid of those that's ear how lobes. I that's how doing? I find the corner of the wall at three in the morning. My <laughs> yeah. There's no it's greater like, hey, pain. Hey, but hey. To, this, to the people skitters of Juarez, you will not. <laughs> I dare you to stub Woody's pinky toe against the corner <laughs> of the wall in the middle of the night for every night for the rest of his life. We still won't pay. <laughs> for we the next three pay. nights then. Yeah. yeah. Would, would that be, That's would a that brutal be one. pinky toes or like narwhal tusks, just like bumpers? Yeah. To see yeah. Where yeah. You go. yeah it's yep. a sensory organ. No. That, that's pinky where toes. Our tusks went. There are pinky toes. Do, do we need toenails? Do we need those? 
I, I grow mine out long so I can run faster in the woods. I do it as uh, as a <laughs> as a self defense precaution. Wait. I huh? <laughs> he digs into the dirt as he sprints. Are you talking like on all fours here? Oh, okay, okay. Bro. Okay. In that case. All right, saber tooth. <laughs> you're, like, you're bounding across part of my, the plane. Part of part of my new workout routine is monkey crawling everywhere. So uh, I, 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 I kind of once I'm outside the, the, the viewpoint of the camera, I'm down on all fours and I'm monkey crawling. It's, I, it's got you, been, I got from, you. I've thought about this multiple times because you know we all of us work online in you know for, for our jobs. Once I'm done, once the podcast is over, once I'm no longer doing any streaming ever again, like when I'm done with my online period of my life, like career, I'm I'm done with social media. I'm 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 over. Oh, I'm over the Taylor. whole thing. I'm never I'm never Taylor. logging on to social media. What are ever you thinking, again. bro? Is that how you think it works? No, bitch, you're on the grid for life now, motherfucker. No, I mean I'm not gonna use any no, no, media. they're gonna get you. He said, oh, you're yes, on you the will. grid, bro. You don't get that forever, forever. That subreddit's gonna be calling your name, putting pictures up of you. <laughs> you're gonna be out at fucking Cracker Barrel, yeah. and RSK boys are gonna snap pics of you and upload yeah. that to a subreddit for the rest of your life. Dude, Spotted that's what forever. they're gonna do. They're you are gonna, on the grid hard. Busted. Public, Every once in a while, dogs. like you, you know, when someone me, like recognizes you and you're like not looking good. This happened like <laughs> I guess two years ago now. I was driving around uh in you know not really near my house, but in the area of my house, and I was feeling particularly fat that day. <laughs> and I I passed I, I passed I, I, I passed you. a pizza hut <laughs> and I was like, I've never just walked into a pizza hut and gotten a pizza for myself at noon and but i did i was doing errands and i'm like you went to the bank you deserve this and so i, I stopped and i and i walk in and there's one guy there because it's noon on tuesday at pizza hut and i'm like meat lovers medium meat lovers for oh, no. me and my friends <laughs> like, <laughs> no, and and the guy who's taking my order is like no taylor <laughs> I can't think of a better place to are get you, you. He was like, "Are you on?" Uh, he's like, "Are you? Are you? This is weird. Are you on PKA?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And I'm like in sweatpants. I'm feeling fat. I'm looking bad. And and he's like, "No, I, I love that show, man. It's such a good show. I knew you'd walk in here eventually. I knew it." <laughs> what, is that, what does that mean? We got these hot and ready's, and you what are you trying to say? Five miles away. How can you resist? I knew you'd come in here eventually. That's some, and, and like, that was shade. and there's there's no one else in there. And so like, I ask, and I should have just said like medium pepperoni because they got those on lock. I could have just taken one and been out of there. But he's yeah. like, all right, give me like 15 minutes, and I'll have your pizza. And then oh, I good. just, I, and then there's a little stool, and I just sit on the <laughs> stool, and we're like <laughs> looking at each other. And he's like, so like, what's what do you like? <laughs> no, like, uh, he's a friend of mine we do the show together what's kyle like you know he he used to like guns and yeah you, know, you can yeah, he, he <laughs> likes weed and he did yeah. have some guns similar to to be hey. on the show obviously we're all different versions of ourselves we're joking around yeah well i like the show like here's your here's your meat lovers <laughs> for you and your friend oh i was just gonna say that like it was never that with my boss. Like it was never cringe. Like like it was just that they were just like real street, and they just kind of spoke casually in the business context because they were the bosses, and there was no one to like look over their shoulder. Mm -hmm. okay. So there were a lot yeah. of in bomb. These were black guys. There's so this there was, was the car dealership. You said. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of like the n word, and there there was a lot of cursing because like yeah. their background was drug dealing, and they were just <laughs> taking that and and transitioning it to car sales. Yeah. Because it's kind of the same game, you know. They're, they're yeah. still, mm -hmm. The structure is the same with the management and uh, and the sales guys, you know. And you and, go far uh, with charisma and fairness and working with them. I mean, yeah, they, they are sales yeah. guys, and like sales yep. guys tend to be the most wild of of those like business types because they're kind of naturally the most social, the ones that like enjoy selling and are good at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but I mean, the general manager, the guy who's running this, mm -hmm. this gigantic car dealership, would be like. Kyle knocked that bitch's head the fuck off. <laughs> like, like, Hell yeah. Good like, boss. Like, like, I, I rewatched Wolf of Wall Street recently and it like 
made me excited about a world of business I don't even understand, <laughs> like stocks and everything. All of a sudden, you want to buy a stock? Yeah, I'm like, That's man, I want to, I want to, I want to get high on lewds with Jonah Hill. <laughs> Pop some lewds. <laughs> That's such a yeah, good movie, man. I'll tell you what. I, I love Jonah Hill. I really do think he might be my favorite actor, like at really? this point in time. Like I, everything him I in you. Moneyball, like. I love him in that character. I it's tremendous. I rewatch it. Brad Pitt kills it. I love Brad Pitt. He's great. But Jonah Hill is just awesome. Every bit, every part he's in, he plays it to a T. The one where he's the gun runner. That that movie War you Dogs. mentioned, Kyle. Yeah. War Dogs. Yeah, War Dogs. Or, I heard yeah. about that, but that I haven't seen it. That movie is incredible. On Netflix. And it's incredible because of Jonah Hill. The other guy does a fine job, I guess. Like, whatever. But it's the Jonah Hill show when he's on screen. And his when, he, when he's like tricking that that rabbi, or no, he's not a rabbi. He's like a really hyper religious, like Orthodox Jew who's providing him mm -hmm. money. And he like goes in there with like the yarmulke, the, like yarmulke. Uh, the, the yarmulke on, and he's like even talking like nebishly, like yeah, to try and he's, trick him. He's, he's, that reminds me of something I heard in Tabish the other day. Abraham, when he went to the market, he always took two. And 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 mm -hmm. and and he's doing that thing where you um you like match body language and mm -hmm. always positive, lots of smiling. If you just look at someone who's like, yeah, yeah, I think that you want to come in today, and like maybe we'll have a good time. What do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. At, you uncon, you're doing it. He's nodding. He did it. I got him. Like you start nodding. <laughs> on. You, you, like yeah. you want to like if if someone smiles and nods at you. It feels weird not to smile and nod along. Like we should all be smiling and nodding, I guess. Yeah, okay. And like after a while, like like that gets to you subconsciously. You're like, if you smile, you will feel happy eventually. It's a Pavlovian thing, like somehow, or we're wired that way. If you smile enough, you'll feel better. Um, it's uh there's a lot of like weird sales shit like that. Those uh those guys were 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 interesting, that like like the different backgrounds that salesmen come from, because mm -hmm. it's everything from like hyper successful to incredible incredible failures it's it, it's i think it's the most uh highly diverse paid job position right like it's it's salesmen but like per capita are the highest paid professionals yeah professionals mm -hmm. that, yeah it makes sense yeah yeah it makes sense uh, i guess a lot of it's commission huh yes and it's like a, a huge chasm like some guy at fucking macy's isn't bringing that that average up but the guy who sells fucking missile silos for halliburton <laughs> Like, oh, what it is? <laughs> he's making so, good uh, coin. So what I observed is every salesman wants to sell something bigger. So mm -hmm. like a car salesman um, wants to do like, real estate like, or some shit. Real estate or boats. They uh, like, like, like like to these guys. Um, they I, I I had a successful car salesman tell me how I was I was like man you kill it like like you make twenty five grand a month selling cars. He's like yeah but it's a hustle. You got you got you know how many cars you got to sell to make twenty five grand a month every month in the winter. I don't have a life outside this. I want to sell yachts. I huh. want that. I want to sell yachts, Kyle. You, if you sell one yacht a year, you've got a career. If you sell three a year, you're rich. You're, you're wealthy. It's like, like 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 these gigantic, crazy why, yachts. But uh, why yachts over real estate? I think for the reasons I just said, because real estate's a grind as well. But I think a lot of guys mm -hmm. want to do real estate, but but real estate seems to require more connections, you know. Like like whereas with the car thing, you just kind of sit there and they kind of come yeah, to you. Come to you. Seems like selling a yacht would be hard. Like who? Yeah, one hundred thirty million. Who are who are you cold calling to buy a seventy-two million dollar yacht? Like there's mm -hmm. there's nine people in the country and seven of them already own one. Hey, Mr. Affleck, I was wondering if you, know, you could hit me back. I got a yacht I'm trying to get rid of. Yeah. Anytime you know, you're ready, call Jeff me back. Bezos. Hey, <laughs> big Jeff. What up? I got my Twitch Prime sub ready to go, and I need you to call me back about this <laughs> fucking boat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I now, I know uh, you I own a boat 10 times as expensive as this already. Hear me out. You could use a yacht on your yacht. Exactly. A, a smaller one. Exhibit would approve. Yo, dog, we heard you like yachts. So we put a yacht in your yacht. Is that a dead meme I, now? Sorry, that was a 2010 no, one, wasn't no, it? No, I, I loved, <laughs> I loved Pimp My Ride. When was remember that the show Yo dog out? Memes? Like 2005, 2006? I would be surprised if it was that late. I thought it was earlier than that even. Am I wrong? It, it may be even earlier than that. I just remember watching it on MTV. And even at the time being like, it is fucked up to put like fish in this guy's hubcaps. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all going to die. <laughs> Four He's like, fish. and we got fucking 15 speakers under the fish tank, and it's going <laughs> to vibrate them into a fine pink mist. Fish in there in the fucking whirlpool. 
Hey, the fish in there it looks like a kraken's come out of that bitch. Poor yeah. thing, something vibrated to death there, and they're having seizures and shit. <laughs> and we then the guy on that show so, hard. Sometimes the guy would be like, "Yeah, it's you know, I got this van, and I got three daughters, and two of the seats aren't even in there anymore." Yeah. And exhibit would be like, "I know you and your family, you and your girls, you need transport, you need something reliable." I put a miniature bowling alley in the back of your seats. <laughs> hey, I removed exactly. the other three chairs, and he's like, this isn't <laughs> exhibit X, my man. Come hey. on. This isn't helpful. We used to clown all that <laughs> shit, and, like, I remember in one episode in specific, the person was super into fitness and, like, making smoothies, and they put, like, a juicer <laughs> in the back with, like, stocked with fresh bitch-ass fucking produce in it. And I was like, do they expect this dude to pull over, like, hang on, hit the Kroger real quick. I got to grab some more kale to put in my fucking smoothie maker in the back of my car. And the number one that me and my little brother used to talk shit about was the classic. We go put a PlayStation in the back. We know you oh. like video games, so we go put we put a PlayStation in the back every time. It's a PlayStation Two. No, no matter what, there was a PlayStation in the back. Oh, like, I always had to be a PlayStation in between was, the bowling alley mm -hmm. and the aquarium. There was a PlayStation in there. There somewhere. was an Xbox had, one time. They made an Xbox, and the controller was in the steering wheel. Yeah, <laughs> like, like you pulled it out. Like you pulled it out of the steering wheel. Exhibit sued for two hundred and thirty million dollars <laughs> in multi car pileup for putting they, an Xbox they, controller. It was like these cars had no resale value after he destroyed like it'd be no. like we know you like fast food so we got a hot drawer where your registration would be we lost your registration when we were doing this but <laughs> <laughs> but now you've got a heat warming drawer for your burgers your, your while glove box around. is a deep fryer yeah it's <laughs> we put a deep fryer in your glove box Oh right. no! Eight hundred eight fifty. Oh my word! Right, Zach, show us the the inside of this. What kind of pimp my ride? Please, stuff bro, do we have just going on? That there. looks awful. That looks so bad. Look at the. Yeah, apparently they fuck, apparently they fucked. they fucked people's cars up. Are there any interior shots that, that show cool features? Is there a PlayStation One in the back? There's got to be a PlayStation. They miss. Look, look, hang on, hang on. Look, look how they spelled celebrity. Where? Where does he say it? It has. It, the car has. Thousands of dollars in electronics. Oh my word! A, a, a beautiful paint <laughs> style in a celebrity history. <laughs> oh, I like this. It, it says, um, "1999 Dodge Grand Caravan was on the TV show Pimp My Ride. You can view episode on, on internet. Internet. Just search Plymouth Grand Voyager on Pimp My Ride. <laughs> what do you know? Do I like Thanks this for the help with Google. Thanks for telling me how to search things <laughs> online, you fucking dumbass. 120,000 miles on this piece of shit. That thing is disgusting. I would, I would, I, if I, would I were, were still making videos, I would do whatever it took to buy this and blow it up. Like, like Whatever that, it took is $850. That would probably complete <laughs> yeah, my childhood. FPS Russia blows up a Pimp My Ride car. Yeah, but I, I got to get all the way to... Where is it again? Where, I don't Ma even know. What's MA? Is. Massachusetts? That's what I, I was know. thinking, too. Like, what the fuck is MA? There's too many M states. It's Massachusetts. Yeah. Is it it's Massachusetts? Massachusetts. Yeah. Kyle, you I will know, go but... get that if you will do the honor of blowing it up for yeah, me. Yeah. I can do that. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's yeah, got yeah. a speaker in the back by the aquarium. Well, it does. Blow it up it. Do the Dude, if, 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 someone, if someone, for, <laughs> if someone for Fair free enough. put that in my trunk, I would be livid. Yeah, <laughs> you would beat the shit out of them. You like, get that out right you, now. There is no more space in your trunk. This car is useless now. This car is completely useless for anything other than we the driver to get somewhere. We turned your family vehicle into a boombox. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. Hey, we know you love your deaf son, which is why we made it louder than ever. <laughs> you can really feel the beat. <laughs> oh, no. We put a visual on the PlayStation screen so we can oh, see the music, shit. bro. Yeah. For eight hundred fifty dollars, that car's worth the the. Bus. Oh, I agree. I agree. I bet it smells though. I uh, can smell that car just looking at it. It smells like cigarettes it. and shame. Yeah, uh, do you, th do you think they smoked menthol. in there? Definitely smoked in there. Menthol, menthol for sure. Yes. It smells like menthol. Newports. Newports. They, they, Newports. they, they smoke smoked Newports. In it. In it. <laughs> I think they smoked. I smoked Newports for over ten years. I can tell a Newport car when I see one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, when I when I when I worked at Enterprise and I was like returning cars at the airport, every once in a while, like someone would step out of the car and like number one, be like visibly drunk, and, oh <laughs> and you're just like, "What? Well, we're here. Whatever. You just go get on your plane." And then you'd like find cigarette butts all over the back seat, and like oh if you if you're a smoker, like Kyle used to be, like. You know, someone smoking as they're driving, when they go to ash, it blows the ash mm -hmm. into the floor of the back behind them. And so, like, 
you can just check and be like, oh, there's ash here. You clearly smoked a cigarette. This person had like whole, it was a, uh, what's the, what's that car where the, the hamsters are in it? The, um, uh, the Juke? Is it, the, it's not where? the Juke, it's, it's the not Q. The Ju- it's the Kia. Kia, uh, Kia Soul. I think yes, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. It was a yes, Kia Soul, yeah. ugly ass car, and there were like dozens of cigarette holes all throughout it. Oh my god! Like dozens, like yeah, piles of cigarettes, and these people would just have... bold face be like, "I wasn't smoking in the car," and it's like, <laughs> hey, "You got out of the car. You're smoking right now. I yeah. watched you get out of the car. You I flicked the butt have... getting out. You redneck." <laughs> uh, I uh, I've smoked in a rental car before, and you know, I just rolled the window down, and then didn't smoke the day i returned it it was fine if you don't run the air you don't run the air conditioner either you turn the air off window down and like that ash thing like like that that's just an asshole if he's somehow ending up with butts in the back seat mm. yeah it was just something know. like yeah, that's crazy it's, it's remarkable like you know when you rent a car you like do something with someone else's property even if it's like a corporation's prop, you're kind of like, okay, this isn't mine. I should treat it like at bare There's minimum. Like I, no, I'm gonna, right, well, I'm gonna whip it. A, I'm gonna whip it around. And when I when I worked at there, it was different when I worked there because I felt like I was like one of the I, team. I should be. I'm on the team. I'm able to do it. I there there was this one time I was uh th- they had like at the airport they had like overflow lots and so like you'd have let's say we had 600 cars or whatever and all the lots were full they would have like off base off of the airport you drive like two miles and there'd be some rented lot with gravel and everything and we were quickly like it was one of those days where there were way more returns than we had people shipping out and so it was just a constant like which was like the best day for me it was just like taylor we need more people to drive cars and it's like oh i get to listen to opie and anthony driving around this is awesome because they all have (laughs) the xm and so i just go you drive these and we fill up this this lot and it got to the point where the overflow lot was full. And I was in a Hyundai uh, Elantra or uh, whatever the smallest one is, even smaller than the, the Elantra. Accent. The Accent. The, the Hyundai Accent. The wind Terrible. will like, blow that car. The wind. Those, is, those things never are felt a toy, a toy car in my life like that car. Awful. They are terrible. And I and there was like a tiny bit of space left in the overflow lot. And one of the assistant managers, cool guy, was like, uh, all right, I guess we're kind of done. And I was like, I bet I can fit this Hyundai Accent in that spot. And he was like, give it a go if you want. All right. And so I like pulled and I was backing up to like squeeze it in. Like I, w- I had to like open the door and like suck in like my ribs to like squeeze out because it was so, so tight in there. But I was like backing up and I see there's a sign that they would usually have in front of the lot to say parking. And it looks like a paper sign, like a cardboard sign that's just standing behind me. And I'm like, all right, I'm perfect. I'm not going to hit the car to my left. The only thing I'm going to nudge a little bit is that stupid cardboard sign to my right, like Uh that wood sign. It's not going to matter. I start going back immediately after hitting it. I realize it's made of a steel plate. And, nice. And it tore a hole in the Gouge. back quarter panel mm. of this Hyundai Accent. Oh, my and God. And I was like, fuck, like nobody, like, they were all in the van, the shuttling van. Uh, and they were waiting on me to do this. Very obvious that I scraped it because it was going. <laughs> and it was loud. And then I got out and I was, I, I go around to the side and I'm like, and it's, it's bad. It's, it's brutally bad. Like that. You can't rent this car out. Like the, the little thing is popped out from its moorings and it's like hanging. Holy and shit. I, I walk back and I talk to my assistant manager, one of the cool guys. I was like, hey, hypothetically, I really just fucked up that Hyundai accent on the sign. What do we do? And he was like, that's a shame. I can't believe these vandals coming around here. <laughs> Hell yeah. and, uh, and I was like, I was like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much By for, way, for, not, for not telling anyone. By the way, yeah. Taylor, and then like, those, like a couple of days later, like they bring that out. And they're like, anybody know what happened? We checked the, the the vehicle history on this accent. There's no accident report. It's like, oh, Bob, who knows? Could have been <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> and now that you've said it on a podcast, prepare to get sued. How long has it been? Get sued. <laughs> America. Has the statute of limitations passed? Are you good Hopefully. Now? No, that. and it wouldn't matter anyway. I made that whole story up. None of it's true. Not, of ev- not. every word of that <laughs> isn't, isn't true. <laughs> no, that's true. It's like that Frank Reynolds. There was no suit. There's no car. There's no soup. There are no lies. <laughs> there's, no, there's no car. There's no soup. At least you got Man. a thug ass boss that lets you get away with it. Yeah. He oh, was, oh, was I was gonna nice. say that um you reminded me of what I was thinking. That, that boss I had that used to be 
a bit of a drug dealer. Um, <laughs> he, uh, I remember he was he was 28 years old, running this gigantic car dealership. I remember one day I had like pried open the soda machine and I was robbing it of all the sodas. Oh my god! And uh, like like the one that was like in the the car dealership. <laughs> what and a he... piece of shit! You <laughs> are. Oh my god, bro! Holy shit! So Catch I you was, to limitations. So I was prying open the soda machine. Tell me you're with this crowbar, fucking this At soda machine sideways. You, you fucking At my place of employment. At the place I work. <laughs> Hang on, let me start over. <laughs> let me start over. <laughs> <laughs> There was this other guy, this piece of shit. He was robbing a soda machine in my box. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, watching him, and I was like, "Oh my god, this asshole!" Um, no, so like the the soda man like didn't. I don't know how that fucking locking mechanism works. You know, you've seen him twist the thing and unscrew. Yeah. Unscrew- he didn't screw it all the way in, so I was able to like get my way in there, and that I'm robbing the machine. And uh, you know, it's right there in the showroom. It's not like I'm like hiding this anyway. I'm just like. I've got an arm full of sodas and I'm getting more. And uh, my boss walks out of the bathroom. He goes, What you doing, Kyle? And I'm like, I'm robbing the soda machine. <laughs> <laughs> Not even for the money. <laughs> and he's like, he goes, That dumbass left it unlocked. I'm like, Mostly I did the rest. He's like, <laughs> He starts getting them too. Let me get a mountain dude. Fuck it. Me- me and this 28 year old millionaire robbed the fucking Pepsi machine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I know for a fact he took like eight drinks out to his car and put them in it before he came Dash back. In. <laughs> and I just imagined like like him like wiping his prints off the Pepsi machine before he leaves. Like like he's like calling. He's like, honey, I've got great news. <laughs> <laughs> I got that, eight Pepsi machine, Maxes. Guys, definitely hey, baby, fired. I hope you like Sierra Mist. I'm on the way home right now. <laughs> Hey, I got five sugar-free Sierra Mist with your name on it, baby. Yeah, no. Hey, hey, it's like Woody in Mexico right now. It's not always about, like, the money. It's about the thrill. He just wanted to yeah. feel the thrill of doing something mm. wrong. No, like, I stealing from his own soda machine. I was 19 years old. I wanted those sodas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, I would imagine that the boss, I don't think the boss would have been taking a loss from that, huh? It's typically a third party. Oh, it has that's, nothing to do with him. Like, Yeah, he, he, it's, it's not his corporate, loss at all. It's, it's going to be that guy that's get, that gets blamed, right? Well, don't say that it's a corporate store <laughs> don't, don't, put some, don't, don't, make, don't make it seem like don't we fucked the, over a little man or something like that i'm sure no, someone else no, made it right you know no we yeah let, let's just hope a, from a from a private entrepreneurial was it a was have. it a good soda machine like were you getting sprite coke dr pepper or was it like or was it or a mist Mr. yellow Dunn. mellow you and pib i remember i remember uh that it was pepsi that's all i remember that it was a pepsi machine Rib. So I, I don't remember what was in That's there. That's not that bad. I like Diet We had Pepsi a Red Bull. Diet Coke. I don't like Pepsi. We had a nice showroom. We had like a really nice uh, espresso machine and um, like a Red Bull machine and, uh, you know, the Pepsi machines and like really nice snack machines that had like cool shit in them. They wanted people to stay in the, the showroom. I don't know why this like, like talking about like having a tantrum about something in a store. It made me think. I remember when I was like maybe three, four years old, my mom <laughs> used to like put me in that part of the... Uh, the the cart at the grocery store where like the kid sits in you know up at the top uh you know i'm talking about in the grocery cart Mm -hmm. and the kid sits there and i remember like getting mad at my mom at one point because like i said i wanted animal crackers because i liked to you know eat them like bite their limbs off and stuff and then i was she was like no you're not getting those and so like for the rest of the shopping trip when she would leave me like near items I would take little items off of the rack that I knew she didn't want and I would fill the cart with them like under stuff that she did purchase. <laughs> and so like we got up to the front and like maybe a dozen items like fucking pipe cleaners and <laughs> and cupcake, <laughs> cupcake tins and like uh, fucking goldfish. Like she'd be like, where did all that Taylor, did you put all this in here? And I'd nope. be like, I, I all I wanted was the animal cracker. If you'd have just given me the fucking animal crackers, we wouldn't have had this problem. What a little oh. hellion. That's like little, little that's hellion. nefariously evil. Like I was a, not, not I, I was want a, what I want. It's yeah. like you're I'm gonna hurt you now. I'm gonna waste your time. They, they, Maybe had, your money. they had to keep uh they had to keep Macy's open for like an extra 30 minutes once because I was hiding so well. Uh, <laughs> they, they couldn't find Can I me. guess where you were? Yeah. Because where I like to go as a kid. And I loved it. 
was they had those racks of clothes that, yeah, that were a like, a, like a circle and you could just go in and there's this little little free area in there yep. you've got a game boy or something that's what you i said i said you were in the and pants you know what you can do is you can hear them when you're like the the employees and your parents or grandma is my mom and my grandma there and like they would get close and i would hear them like grandma's Stand like taylor taylor come on let's go where are you and i would wait until because they were looking under every single one and i would wait until they were about to do it and then i'd go like <laughs> lift, yeah you could lift pull up. Feet up you can lift your feet and put them on the metal thing yeah, yeah. On racks yeah oh man you don't you don't realize when you're <laughs> when, when you're three how horrible that is to do it's it's 9 55 the mall wait, been closed were... for an hour oh, <laughs> i, I did kid. this like he did it when he was like 17 yeah, I was 28. Mm -hmm. This was two years. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. I was just a kid. I was about 24. Dude, they they hate it when they catch you. <laughs> they are not expecting oh, they a grown like man. Stop, st stop loitering here! And I'm just like <laughs> like a 30 year old man. Like, -hee -hee. sir, follow the restraining order. <laughs> Taylor, no, you're not allowed so to be here. I, I loved hiding in there. Um, yeah, it was uh, fun. It was all you could really do there. It was all I could do because, like, I, I, you hate, I hate shopping as a kid. Like, yeah, my mom would drag me on those like trips to the mall, and like, I'd never get to go in the arcade. It was always just being drug around, like, from place to yeah. place. And you like, walk right by KB Toys like three times, and, and just like, and, and like, as a kid, you don't fucking care about clothes. You don't want nah. new clothes. You don't give a shit. You're just, mm -hmm. you're just. It's, it's like it must be how like a horse feels when you're like figuring out what kind of saddle you want to throw on it. Mm -hmm. He's just like sitting there, like <laughs> he's like this. Really yeah. doesn't have that much to oh, do. Oh yeah, me. you like that one, do you? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, get it in there tight. Yep. Yep. Fits well, doesn't it? Cool. When are we done? Huh. When are I fucking get out of here and eat some hay? That's that's got to. It, it was awful as a kid. You're, you're, you're. I don't know. It, those clothes aren't for you. They're 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 so your parents don't look like they're bad parents for not yes. dressing you. I I like have so many memories of how horrible it was to have to go like shopping with my mom at the mall for clothes. It was, I, I remember like maybe being six years old and like never fully understanding the concept of suicide until I was like 45 <laughs> minutes Whoa. into standing in the standing in white house, black market, some like lady store. And my mom is trying on so many things. And I just remember being like, what if, I was what, if I, what if I died? <laughs> Taylor, Taylor, that, would, that would get me out of this. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor imagine oh, but if I die, I can't I can't finish battling the Elite Four in Pokemon Red when I get home. How I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take Drake the Dragon Master. I can't I can't tap out yet. Imagine how like some like African child who grew up in a salt mine would feel hearing this story. About about how how, how, how how awful it was to go shopping with you your mother at the clothes. store for new for new clothing. I, I have been wearing the same potato sack for a for a generation. This was my father's potato sack. No, they would they would they would look at my story and they would be like, I thought I understood where people were coming from with suicide because I had a hand chopped off because I did not collect enough rubber for the fucking <laughs> Belgian government. But the this poor man. American boy. Bell standing in White House Black Market for 45 minutes. I would Dude, not your accent that started my like anyway. African and then went Indian and then you said no, it's, Belgium. You just, it's just go it. No, well, Belgium was the one that like fucked you up uh, the your, Africans' hands. You yeah, bring with, uh, your with the rubber uh, rubber yeah, 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 yeah. farmer. You should have stayed more African. Would have been easier. <laughs> go, go ahead, Josh. Beat him on the accent. Go ahead. Chill. I want to hear your one handed <laughs> African rubber farmer. Where, where do you get off coming at me like this? <laughs> My name Look is Amy Conrad. If you ever come at me, I will crack your head open and find the gold inside. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I will it's give you definition to blood diamond. <laughs> hey, First of all, uh, little more Jamaican there. That's you why sound I said Hermes like a lad Conrad. From Trinidad. <laughs> I said Hermes Conrad the first time I said. Oh, My name Hermes is Hermes Con Conrad. <laughs> the, uh, well, yeah. A very Imagine. underrated cartoon show, Futurama. Futurama okay. does not get the credit it deserves. Was it gold that they think was in the heads, or was it the cure for AIDS? No, it was gold. There was some some like belief in some like weird area of Africa because like some some heads? bald people were getting killed because they thought gold was in their bald heads. Oh, it's the bald people heads because they're shiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's the wow. um. Isn't it the who is it that has the the AIDS? Oh, it's the albinos. Yeah, that's that's the ones that that you have to rape to get rid of your AIDS. Oh, dude, like oh my god, albinos in Africa. 
tough go. Yeah, because, we've got like, an albino in the in the in the Discord. So like, look out, oh, buddy. Whatever. If I ever catch the uh, hiv, I'm coming at you. You're gonna be found. <laughs> Man, be, I, are there any other like? albinism like that's or albinism however you say it no, like that's, you had it right the first time oh albinism, albinism. It, yeah. it's it's just a pigmentation thing they don't have like other problems right no, other than like i guess like well, they would have problems like no, no, oh, they have skin out, cancer at 10 times the rate or something they're albanians yeah, that's what like it is that. Oh, Albanians. Oh, Albanians. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's fucking Stop Albanians. <laughs> it is. Albanians. He's trying to make us Google it. I know. No, he is. I know what he's doing. <laughs> I know his lies. <laughs> I've, I've walked these streets a few times. That would have got Woody. That would have got Woody. He, he would have bought like, it. No, it's Albanian. At least Look one of you was like, eh. oh, he's fucking with me. So I had you for that. You, 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 did, you did that. Eh. But Woody would have been like, Albania. They are pale. Uh, Albino, <laughs> Albania. They're pale in Albania. <laughs> what do I know about Albania? I like this. It makes sense. Albanians, it is. This, this is gels. This up. makes this, this vibes with me. <laughs> oh, man. They are pale. The Albanians are pale in general. Mm, it is European. They are white. This checks out. <laughs> I love yeah. Kyle going from like, oh, I can't wait for that cartel to kill Woody. Be like, Woody would, Woody would have found it funny. <laughs> Woody would have worked off that joke. <laughs> oh, oh. We're we're not saying that we hope Woody dies in the cartel issue. We're saying that the cartel couldn't take him if they tried. <laughs> we're just daring them to is all. I dare. Them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? As a matter of fact, I'll pay you to kill him just to prove that you can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time. Blue team go, blue team go. I've got a history here. The feds we're in, on the we're, way. In, we're in fucking court eight months from now. Yeah. It was a joke. We were kidding. <laughs> my prosecutor satire. comes out. My prosecutor and my judge come out. We're like, oh, yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> oh, good. Internet joke. We would I, all sell Josh down the river. Oh, it'd I be the easiest sell ever. Either. I'd be yeah. doing life and y'all would all be free. It'd be easy as pie. It'd be like, Josh told us to attack. Look, He's a bad I'm influence. A Sunday school teacher. This Josh kid is like a, has a history of violence. I, yep. We have to get rid of him. Off my the prosecutor street, gonna walk in there like, <laughs> I'll take it from here. <laughs> I got it from this point on. Give me five minutes. Hang on, I'm about to go write a Stephen <laughs> King novel on this bitch. <laughs> We're gonna step out and come back with some emo diary type shit. Mister Plot <laughs> corrupted the minds of multiple individuals. Hundreds of thousands of people saw the podcast. Yes, yeah. you can talk. And it also, on me easy. his African accent was much worse than the host of the show. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like, like that Hermes on. Conrad. I would like that on the wreck. Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> our, our, the defendant never tried to do one. He was prompted into it by other hosts on the show. It was not, it was not his original content. <laughs> no, he just failed at it. Now it's a case about bad accents. Uh, I have known people who build stills and made it too strong and went blind. It's, so uh, that's a real thing. The Squidbilly it, joke was yes, based off of reality thing. then. Oh, yeah, right. so, so yes, like, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think like we, we looked this up on the show a while ago. So basically when you make your own alcohol, you know how like ethanol is, is the, it, that's what alcohol is. Right. So apparently yeah. like the reason that when they run a still and they're bottling, they like let it run for a bit is because methanol, which is a different kind of alcohol that makes you go blind, is it's like the first part. is the first stuff to come out. And so the if you just start out. bottling methanol and you drink that, it can like permanently blind you. Mm -hmm. Which the is why, like, is... just go to the fucking store and buy. Yeah, well, I've been so... involved in people making moonshine in prison, and they even them who can sell it for several dollars a drop, even they mm -hmm. pour out that first bit. You know? Yeah, yeah. Better safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. Like nothing's worth your sight. And I'm sorry, Wendigoon, you were about to say something. Isaiah? No, no, I was just I was just gonna say he's talking about go to the store. The main reason that it is a thing is because uh around prohibition, there's a lot of people who died trying to traffic moonshine and everything. Mm -hmm. So whenever the government was just like, Okay, we won't bother you anymore, a lot of people didn't trust them and decided they were gonna continue the tradition outside of the eye of the law. Uh, and then that was just a passed down practice for generations oh, okay. and generations to come. Yeah. Um, uh, so a lot of people do it as a testament to self-reliance and anti-gov stuff. You, uh, Interesting. Like you're, 
you're into the, the conspiracies and everything. Did you ever read about like uh, how the Kennedy family like became influential and elite by by bootlegging during Prohibition? I've heard about that. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's so interesting. Um, so a bunch of people did uh, the like everyone who started the big cities out west, like Las Vegas and stuff. That's how they got their start. Um, was interesting. I went on a vacation to Bar Harbor, Maine, which was what's that sound? What is that sound? <laughs> oh my God, Taylor! Whoa, your mic just exploded, bro. My mic is. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that. Down, I don't I know why like a blown out audio is so funny to me. It's just Mimi as fuck. Hey, hang, on, gotta, yeah. hang on, let me see if I still hear the thing now that he's muted. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nah. Just unplug it Bro. and replug it back in. It's you, uh, you should dude, always thought... podcast like that. Your, your your gain got maxed out. Is what? Yeah, happened. your gain was bad. It was clipping, dude. I don't it's think. Bro, I was did getting you anybody. hear that? I thought that was the rapture, my <laughs> dude. <laughs> I, I'm a... uh, and, Am I still blown out? Nah, sounds right normal. there. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. Yeah. No, th that's weird. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. No, sorry about that. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That was interesting. Anyway, um, I thought a train was about to hit your. your, your <laughs> that's that's what what it sounded sounded like. I thought you were getting like, closer. It's so frustrating because it's like, what do I do? I haven't touched anything all day. All night. As soon <laughs> as soon as Taylor mentioned the Kennedys, a ship descended on his house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it anyway. descended on the Hilton and said, no, you're not. <laughs> um, I went to Bar Harbor, Maine, which is like a ritzy place in Maine that back uh, at the turn of the century into like World War II, a bunch of big, fancy, rich people stayed at. So Edison had a house there. Uh, the Fords had a house there and all that. They didn't realize until the 1970s why the, all the houses were located so close uh, when they started trying to renovate nearby and found all these underground tunnels. And it turned out bootleggers would come from Canada and they would go in these underground tunnels. And these tunnels led to like the cellar of every mansion around Bar oh, Harbor. God. So all of these like rich, fancy people who didn't know each other, like Edison Ford and all that, um, shared all this underground bootlegging ring where they would all go during the summers and get hammered. Uh, so, like, people who did that and supplied for them quickly made their way up to the top. And mm -hmm. people like the Kennedys, yeah. It's wild. Like, all of those wealthy, like, established families. It's like, well, how did they make their money? Oh, well, uh, they exploited crime. millions of people and tens of thousands yeah. died because they hadn't invented yeah. child labor laws yet. And they were making kids like reach into fucking metal shard piles and like retrieve things. Like basically what Apple has like little African kids doing now in mines <laughs> to get like the <laughs> fucking much, manganese yeah. they need for chips or whatever. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But sounds good to me. Uh, I need my manganese. Yeah, we need our manganese. by any means necessary. So I know, uh, I know you got to head out, Harley. We just hit four hours. I guess we'll we'll call it a show. Uh, Josh, you thank guessed? you so much for for jumping on last second. Isaiah, Always a pleasure, we got to have Anytime. you on again so we can talk more uh, about it. Conspiracy it was a privilege, things. and uh, to both of you guys and the guest as well. Uh, I've watched PK forever. Been a huge fan, so this really meant a lot to me. So thank oh, you. Oh, cool, man. Thank we enjoyed it. You, you, you killed it, man. We'll have, we'll have you back mm -hmm. on again soon. And Harley, cool. I really like your videos, by the way. brother. Well, thank you, Kyle. I appreciate it. Really good. As someone whose first job was working in a gun shop. Uh, FPS Russia was wow. very inspirational to me. Oh, thanks. So that re that means a lot coming from you. So thank, oh, thank you. you. This yeah, is wild as fuck, Wendigoon, for me. Both of these two dudes were two of my first ever favorite YouTubers was FPS Russia and Epic Mealtime. So I feel yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I loved Epic Mealtime as well. So this this oh, was yeah. very... I actually saw, I saw a video of yours. It was uh, a list of movies and I wanted to see... This is ages ago. I don't know. Maybe like... Feels like a year ago or something. It was uh oh the disturbing movie iceberg. Oh uh, yeah, I wanted to know where uh what's it called land the Serbian film landed on the iceberg, Ooh. and it was uh, it was pretty early. And I was like oh, third damn. tier bait, yeah. Yeah, I have a now list. You remembered it off the top. I have head. a list on my phone yeah. of the movies that I was like, these are ones that I should probably watch. Um, but now I'm gonna go check out more videos. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. That's Everybody that's please follow me on social media. Lot. Thank you. Check out, uh, check out Josh. You got a Twitter? You. you got a Twitch? You got yeah. you're on Twitch? Yeah. My Twitter, I am on Twitch. It's Jay Palal, but my Twitter is uh, at Josh Palal. 
I know it's kind of a bad spelling, but if either one of you guys follows me, I'm probably going to have a heart attack. I'll follow you right back. (laughs) Well, all all the links for Josh, Harley, and Isaiah are below, so so sub to all their channels. Please. Uh, All right, PKA. 